Live podcast. You know what it is. You know what we're here to do. Back in studio in beautiful Austin, Texas. The weather is finally let, letting up. I think today w- it didn't get to 100 degrees and it was kind of cloudy. Some places got rain. I got yeah. rain out in my area, but hey, we're here to talk about Austin FC. Real quick, I got to introduce the boys that are in studio. To my left, I got B. What's up, mate? How you doing? What's up, bro? Doing good. Uh, I'm glad Primo's back. You know, I could just, I don't have to be on the Mac. I could just, you know, chill with my drink and talk some football. <laughs> but uh, doing great, bro. Yeah. Sundays are for y'all for this studio. I'm ready. Talking Austin FC and the best of world football. That's why we got the man to my right, Bali ATX. What's up, mate? How are you with that uh, beautiful, crisp, mm, mint Austin you, you FC jersey? Sentimiento. Sentimiento, El kid. sentimiento. What kind of sentimiento you got today? I'm not going to lie. I'm a little mad. I'm, wow, a little I'm a little upset. I'm a little upset. I'm we're going to get I'm a little okay. upset last okay. night. I'll be real. I'm a little upset. Okay. Last, last pod, you were also. You're upset. always upset, but yeah, I, mean, I, I, I keep it real, bro. I keep it real. I love That's it. it. I love that. I love that. Uh, how how are you though? How, how I'm good, how are man. I'm home? great, man. I'm great. Uh, How's I feel home? good. Uh, home is great. You know, uh, everything's good all around. Everything's good all Fresh around. Fresh jersey, and then bro. stuff in the EPL is doing good for me too. So Ooh, you know, what I'm saying? Yeah. you feel me, V? EPL segment is gonna be great. Yeah, it's gonna be great. We also got I some don't. La Liga. We're gonna dibble dabble a bit. Oh, God. Whoa, 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 there, brother. We're gonna dibble dabble a bit of League A. La Liga, Liga, you know, and, uh, Liga. Serie A. Liga. But we got to introduce the birthday boy, Brr. late birthday boy. He was out and about yeah. doing his thing. Where were you at, Primo? Tell the fans just bro, a bit. that was all over, bro. I w- so the plan was to go to Colorado, and then we started having car issues. So I got stuck in New Mexico for like oh, three shit. days. Whoa! Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. shit to do in New Mexico, bro. <laughs> <laughs> fucking deadline out there. <laughs> but uh, I mean, the most out of it, you know, eventually we did get to Colorado, spent a few days in Denver and um, Colorado Springs, did some hiking, did all that shit. So, hell yeah, uh, it was good, bro. It was really good. And I'm glad I'm back. Made it in time for the pod. Watched the game last night on my phone while I was driving. Nice. And uh, yeah. Glad you're back, bro. For real. Happy late birthday. My too, happy late birthday. How old are you now? 36? <laughs> <laughs> Chill. Yeah. Talk to my boy like that. Yeah. 36. <laughs> No, nah, uh, just get it, bro. 26. 26, 26. Yeah, yes, 26. sir. My boy Primo. I'm glad you're back, bro. Last time I was kind of, like, you know, trying to keep the levels. You know, I, I, right now, I'm just. It was a little tough. It was a little yeah, tough. Was a little we bit. had to do a little tough. bit more. It, it feels good. This everybody way. had to do a bit more. Yeah, you know? yeah. Glad but you're back, brother. Primo's back in studio. Another year around the sun, and we love to have him here. He's one of the coolest dudes I've ever met, and I love to do this podcast with him every week. Uh, even though he wasn't here last week, we did miss him. But glad you're back, bro. Appreciate it. Bro. But r- on that note, you want to roll us into the first topic? As always, the Top Flight Podcast starts with Austin FC. Yeah, bro. We'll start off with the main topic, ATX versus Kansas City. What a game. What a game. What a game. What a game. Ups and downs. Uh, I'll Definitely. let y'all get into it. Overall thoughts, B. Uh, I mean, dude, we, you know, I watched it with you, bro. We went to the game. Supporter section was packed as always. Did um, you like that uh, spot? Uh, bro, that? Did I you think like that's, the spot? I think that's going to be our sp- that's, that's, that's Okay, that's my spot. That's your spot? Well, that's it's, my spot. It's Secret our spot. spot now, bro. It's our spot. I it's loved spot. it, man. It was a great spot. Why? I think I know why you like that spot, bro. Why is that? Because that Wi-Fi was doing good up there, bro. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's, funny, was- it's funny you say that because shout out to uh, Kevin Morris. He... Uh, he he caught that on Twitter a while back. He said, if you're at the stadium, how are you able to tweet so much? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He said that from his seat, or uh, I think it was him. He said that from his seat, his phone is, is terrible yeah, with signal. Yeah. So whenever you said that, I was like, oh, I guess people don't really have good signal in Q2 Stadium mm-hmm. with the Wi-Fi. That spot, Wi-Fi was booming, brother. So, I mean, you get a great view. Wi-Fi was booming. So definitely a good spot. We were there. Um, other I mean, than that. Other than that, get, get, get to the pitch, get to the field. It was a tough first half, bro. A really tough first half. Um, <laughs> super disappointing when we went down. You know, it ended up 3-1 at the half. But, you know, <laughs> when we were there, we were so upset. You were upset. You were, you came, you, you looked at me and you were like, hey, B. I was pissed. You were like, are we Man United, mate? Are we Man United? Are we Man United? Man United? <laughs> because, bro, Sporting yeah. is the last team in the – last team, worst team in the MLS. Yeah. yeah. We shouldn't be having to go down 3-1 against yeah. this team, bro. So yeah. – it started off rocky. It was really bad, man. It just a lot of we were, we were mad, but uh, overall the 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 you know coming back just one of the best comebacks I think that we've had at Q two, bro. I mean we had a couple, but yeah. this by far I think is my favorite, bro. On uh, on on record, we can do a little bit of uh, diving into the stat side of things. Shout out to the page Austin FC FC Austin FC Communications. Mm-hmm. 
the tweet was um, Austin MC is the first team in MLS history to register two comebacks from a two goal deficit uh, later than the 60th minute. The dates are August, well, yesterday yeah. and uh, April 16th when those two games happened. So yeah. shout out to Austin MC making history on their yeah. second year. Yeah. But Bali, bringing you in on this. Mm. We didn't have you at Q2 last night, but you said you really wanted to analyze this game from yep. home. And from the conversations we were having bo uh, before we started shooting the, the pod, it sounds like you were ready for this for this episode. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So talk to us briefly. How, what were your overall thoughts on last night's game? Um, well, it's it's really, I'm going to be honest, you know, it's, it's really, it's unacceptable. It's unacceptable, mm. you know, uh, Ten goals, three games at home. Yeah. Four uh, against New York, three against San Jose, and three against the bottom of the team. Unacceptable. I agree. KC. I agree. It's, I agree. It's unacceptable. You know, and people can say, yeah, nice comeback. Yeah, we fight hard. Yes, the team fought hard, but these mistakes, they, they are unacceptable, bro. You know, let, let's be real. You know, Stuber had a an, an, an mistake. Julio and Ruben, mistake. Ethan, mistake. Terrible tackle by it's Ethan. Terrible, terrible tackle, tackle. Terrible. And it's a, uh, like we keep saying it. We're, we're we're beating ourselves. We're making stuff harder for ourselves. We're making easy work hard work. You know, we we need to we need to we need to pick it up, bro. We need to pick it up. And I'm sure we'll get into detail of some of these uh, goals that were big mistakes, man. Big mistakes that are that are not that are not unbelievable stuff, bro. Now, I'm be upset, bro. I'm, I'll be real. Be in the press conference, Josh Wolf. He seemed to be kind of like on edge, bro. He was a little bit kind of still in the mood of the match. It seemed like he hadn't kind of like detached himself from that atmosphere of being in a in a intense match like that. You know what I'm saying? Because Josh Wolf was absolutely livid. Yeah. And in the press conference, he was kind of cutting off uh, journalists before they finished their question. He he was answering them, and credit to Josh Wolf, he was answering them well. He gave some really you know full answers. I mean, yeah. he he he. Uh, uh, somebody made a tweet. Uh, they quoted uh, Chris Bills' uh, question, and Josh Wolf kind of like came after Bills. Look, yeah, I mean, on the press conference, I mean, I'm gonna say some real shit. I mean, some of these questions are, I mean, I mean without saying any names, some of these questions are kind of ridiculous, bro. I mean, yeah. like, horrible. Some of these questions, I'm like, what? Why? I mean, there's there's more important questions to ask, but that's a different topic. But yeah, I mean, you got Wolf, um, you know, live it like you said, kind of still uh, coming off that victory, not really had the time to analyze the mistakes. I mean. You know, you we can we can be happy coming out uh coming out with three points at home, all we want, right? Three points is three points, but the performance on the field was not that of to be too much excited for, bro. I mean, I'm excited for the three points, of course, but the performance on the field just it was not a three point vibe for me, bro. I mean, I'm glad we came back and won, but the performance, especially in the first half, defensively, and uh, I want to also come back on Bali's point. You know, like he said, ten games, I mean, ten goals in three games, bro. Yeah, at home, at home, at, at home, the, at the Q two. I mean. To be fair, though, I mean, you look at other results around the league, and th not only this season, but the season before and the season before, I think MLS is known kind of to, like, not be so good of defensively. Uh, I know Austin FC have a great center back pairing, Julio and Gaberson, but, you know, we had, uh, you know, Sporting KC and LA Galaxy 4-5. We had a Toronto 3-4. You had a, uh, a Dallas uh, game 3-2. Like, so these score lines aren't really too rare in the league, and this is part of the game, and... What I'm glad is that Austin FC can score, bro. Yeah. Uh, because if it's one thing that you you concede goals, it's just the trend around the league. Teams concede the de the defense in this league just isn't that good. So what you got to rely on is being able to score, and Austin FC is that team that can score. We have the most goals, I believe, in the league. So, I mean, you know, we just got to outscore these teams. Um, mistakes, mistakes. I mean, bro, come on, bro. I mean. That's the the trending topic around the team, bro. Is mistakes. Now we're in the uh, topic of the goal scored on Austin FC at home. Ten goals in three games, absolutely unacceptable. Like you said, Bali. Let's talk about those those uh, goals that were scored on us last night, okay. right? The first goal. The first goal. Alex Ring commits a free kick outside the box, just outside. Now we were talking about this before the pod. We almost went at it. Just a bit. Mm -hmm. Things got heated. We kind of did. Go I was it. saying, I was saying that Donnie got caught flat-footed. I was saying Donnie got caught flat-footed. He could have crashed the net, as we say, wherever I play. But you were saying that that was Stuber, 100%. Go in on that. Yeah, bro, I mean, it's a, it's a, it's a, you, you can't blame Danny for, for being flat-footed. I mean, it's a free kick. They're not expecting the ball to bounce 
out, out, of, out of Stuber's chest. I mean, it's a mistake. It's it's Stuber's mistake. I mean, it's a horrible mistake. And then, and then I'm so, I, I love Stuber. I love Stuber. But, but but this is this this is the difference between an all star level goalkeeper and a a pretty good goalkeeper. All right. So it it, it gets me upset because people were, were were trying to defend. Don't defend them, man. Like let's be real. Let's call the when the players get it wrong. Let's call them out. They want they like this. They like when you call them out. Because they know, like, yeah, I messed up. You call me out. I'll do better. Stop babying these players, man. Call them out when when they, when they mess up. You call them out. It's a stupid mistake. I see you tweet about Danny. Danny was flat footed. Why the fuck would you tweet that? <laughs> flat footed? How? Flat footed? Uh, one second. Flat footed. One, bro, one second. One second. Footage. You can one see second. the footage. Bro. The shot was a rocket, bro. It was a. It was, it was a, a rocket. It was bro. a rocket, but. Bro, you're you, you catch Stuber? that. You yeah, catch that. You catch bro, that. Bro, okay, hold on, real quick, real quick. It was a rocket, bro. You think you think that it's easy for me to criticize Danny? You think that it's easy for me to actually say these words, bro? I love Danny Pereira, bro. I went to the Fairmont to to meet him when he first got here, bro. Look at the flag back here, bro. Who signed it? Danny Pereira. Danny Pereira signed it. You think you and think, you think this is yeah. easy, bro? This is not easy, bro. It hurts me to criticize these players that are near and dear to my heart. But like you said. When these players mess up, we have to criticize. But I, in my opinion, I feel that Danny Pereira could have crashed the net. Maybe could have put one of the Kansas City players off. Maybe could have just kneaded to the side. You never know. Hit it with your hip. Put something part of, of your body on it, just not your hand, yeah. of course. Yeah. But that's just what I think, yeah. right? I think Danny could have done a bit better. But one thing that I do agree with you, Bali, Stuber could have done better with that chance. And, and on, man, the, on the Stuber you, take. You catch, you catch that ball. And on Stuber take, bro. Go ahead. Uh, that, bro. That shot was a rocket, bro. But you catch Look, that ball. Look, you dude. do catch the ball. I understand. I'm not giving any Stuber any slack. But there's some instances where the ball just comes at you rocket. It was a beat. rocket. It was a rocket, bro. It actually goes off his bicep, yes, bro. You can it goes off his yeah, bicep. A world-class keeper probably catches it, right? But a rocket comes out, and whenever the goalkeeper makes the initial save, who bails you out, bro? Who's there to give you that extra bailout? The defense. And, 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 and I would say Danny, but then I would say the whole team, bro, because... When that ball bounced off Stuver, Primo, there was can you like go back yeah. to that goal, please? when that ball bounced Stuver, Stuver, there was like five Sporting Kansas City players in yeah. in Stuver's face. Right there, look at that, bro. Right there. Four Sporting Kansas City players in Stuver's face, while the entire Austin FC lineup was in in the line. Everybody. Was Everybody just was caught. there, bro. Everybody was just caught. And look, you know I, what? But uh, you know to what? me, to me, that looks like also they were trying to catch somebody offside, a, a KC player offside, right there. So and I you know don't. What? The last thing going in, going going through their head is, oh, Stuber's this, this ball's gonna bounce out, out of Stuber's chest, and then uh, Casey's the players gonna be right there, and they're gonna score. They're You're right. not thinking that. You're right. You, it, it is wrong for me to just say Danny was caught flat footed because going with with Beast Point, yeah. everybody was everybody, caught flat footed yeah, in that was. box. Everybody was caught flat footed. So I think, that mistake I think we can the Stuber agree mistake. on one thing. I think this mistake falls on Stuber, but the team for not bailing him out. Yeah. All right, bro. And right, and right. Al- and also he 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 also came out as a man, Stuber, and and I, and I applaud him for him and I thank him for the he also he came out and he said that it was my mistake that I I, I dig the hole for the team and they 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 got me out of it. Shout out to Stuber in the second half, clean sheet, clean sheet, clean sheet, <laughs> second half, <laughs> yeah. clean sheet, second half. Uh, he had some massive saves. Yeah, he did. Yeah, he, he, did. Did. he had he had a one save where he literally went off of his like like off his toe. And that's Stuber for Obviously, you, bro. That's Stuber. Stuber will that's Stuber. cause you some goals, but would also save you some. That's yeah. just and Stuber. The, the bro. second goal too. I mean the second. Let, do okay, better. right you there. Okay. Do let's, let's go into the second goal. Let's go into the second goal. The second goal. It is an absolute dime of a ball. Let's Zussi. Zussi. This is in his locker. Yeah. If anybody knows dime. Zussi, anybody knows the MLS, they know that if anybody's gonna play a ball like that, it's gonna be Wayne Rooney from DC. Remember that one yep, badass yep, video? Yep, yep. And Graham Zussi, bro. This guy pings the ball in an absolutely beautiful touch by that player. Uh, I'm not sure who it was. In between Cascante and Julio Bali, you have a take on that? One. One. Well, one pass over the top, you, Ruben and, and Julio have been great for us, yes. But you have to focus. You have to read that. You have to know, like, hey, th- he, he might, he might give him a touch. pass. We no, need to read that. Touch. One pass over the top. The Casey player gets it. He takes a shot. Okay, Stuber good save. Good, good save. Good save by Stuber. Good, good save, save by Stuber. Then K- the Casey Stuber. player has a horrible, a shit shot. Stuber can stop it, and it doesn't happen. It was a very weak shot, bro. I thought, I, I thought mean, Stu was going to I thought he was going to gonna, I thought he was gonna stop that, too. I was ready to say, Stu. Bro, Stu went in happened, with his bro. feet, bro, when he should have went in yeah. with his hands, bro. He should have took a dive. Primo, the second goal, Stuber mistake. It was, bro. I was watching the game, and when that happened, I got so pissed. <laughs> I, I was dude, so too mad, old? It's been, too but, old. But, but, I was, that was, that, that was when, that but not, not, but that not only yeah, Stuber. Yeah, that's when they said, are we Man United? Are we Man United? Are we Man United, right? But not only Stuber. The ball, that it was a great ball, 
But Julio and Ruben, they they should they need to read they need to read that, bro. They should read like, I hey, there's, yeah, long, there's a long ball coming. Hey, let, let's step back a little bit. Let's step back a little bit. Let's try to catch him offside. But okay. no. But, but no. on the shot, does Stuber dive with his hands and save the save the shot? That's an easy yeah. Save. And also, yeah, Stuber should have. So yeah. we're we're what are we talking? We're discussing the same thing like we discussed the first goal. Stuber make the mistake that the, the the team doesn't back him up. This time, the defense makes the mistake. Stuber doesn't back him up. Yeah, oh, I guess you, you know what that. I mean. So I it's see, like the same, see, the same thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Stuber could have dived with his hands forward and got that ball easily. He Stewart. decided to go with his feet. Okay, he could have bailed saying, out the defense. Same thing with the first goal where Stewart dropped the the pad, the shot. The defense could have bailed them out and didn't. So similar goals to me. Two zero, bro. One Against thing certain. One thing certain. What a ball. Yeah, what, what a, a ball, ball and what a touch. It was a great ball, but I expect my defense to do better there. Yeah. And my goalkeeper, and straight you know, up. You know what's actually crazy, bro? Uh, you know, all this was happening, and uh, y'all know Kevin, right? Kevin from uh, Sporting Kansas City Fan Reaction? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Kevin, homie Kevin. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. His internet was down this whole time Sporting Kansas City was balling oh, out, bro. that sucks. <laughs> and then, bro, and then his internet comes back on, and he joins, you know, he makes this, like, stream. Second and, half. And we, and we start to come oh, back. Yeah. That sucks, man. And we start to come back on him, bro. But, that uh, makes sense. That makes sense. Let's go into the... <laughs> that sucks, man. Your pain makes me happy. Third goal. <laughs> Third goal, real quick. The third goal is este, the primo. Let's see, take us into it real quick. It was the penalty kick Another right mistake. there. That's it right there. Ethan Finley, stay on your feet. He knows ah. it. He knows stay it. on your yeah. feet, Ethan. He knows it. Stay on your feet, Ethan. Bali, go ahead. He knows it. Look at him shaking his head. He knows it. He knows it. It's he a mistake. Knows. He knew it instantly. Look. Ring knew it too. Ring Ring looked up and he said, oh my God, what's going on? He knew it. Look, Ethan, just stay on stay your on feet, your bro. Feet, mate. Just there's, stay three on your feet, bro. there's three players in front. <sighs> yeah, that, that that was a horrible, horrible, horrible. Unfortunate. Look, I mean, he's Unfortunate. A, he's a winger inside the box trying to make a last dish. I mean, <sighs> Johnny Russell yeah. steps up, and you just know that this guy's not gonna not gonna miss. I his mean, PK. you know, yeah. when the penalty was was drawn, I was like, you know, I told you at the game, I was like, hey, Stu be saving him. Stu be saving him. Yeah. Stu be saving him. Yeah. Yeah. But saving he couldn't him. save this one, brother. Uh, yeah, at this point, I was dead. Stuber was point. actually talking about uh, percentages and PK saves, and uh, he said that mathematically, I think what it is is eighty percent in favor for the shooter and twenty percent for the goalkeeper. So Stuver now is uh he's not 50-50 anymore. He's what? No, no, he's, he's not 50-50. He's 9 and 4 now. Yeah, 9 and 4. Yeah. 4 and 9. Uh, 4 and 9. 4 and 9. I wouldn't know. He's he's safe 4 out of Someone 9. Someone can PKs. do the math for me. Yeah, tell, tell that to the people that were protecting him. Yeah. Like Phoenix. Like who? <laughs> Coming after Phoenix. Yeah, mate. tell that tell that the people that were protecting him like he's not 50-50 anymore. You said what was no, he? What he's is? Not. He was he's yeah, he, he's not. He, yeah. He had he was 4 for 8. 4 for 8. He was 4 for 9. 4 for 9. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. But come on like you got to know, this isn't the first time we're seeing Stewart make mistakes like this, bro. Yeah. This is not even the second, third, fourth, fifth time. You, you this always is a say thing. this. You always say this. this. Stewart has a mistake in him. Look, he does make some crucial saves. He does make yeah, saves, he does. but he's he does. also going to give you mistakes, yeah. bro. Mistakes. Yeah, that, that's, then that's true. Uh, Primo, can you put on the next goal? We're gonna Now that that's all the Sporting Kansas City goals, one of the next topics that we have on the list is the ATX goals. Correct, Primo? Yeah. Yeah, that's the uh, next topic. We're going to talk about the Austin FC. Gallagher's goal. Put the Gallagher. John Gallagher goal because after halftime, I don't know what was said I mean, in that I, team talk. When it, when it was 3-1, I was done. I was dead, bro. Like, I thought I thought we were done. How like, was I, B? I was I was. I bro, half you were, I you were livid, bro. I was pissed. You were livid. People were, was you were yelling out shit. People were looking back like, what the hell? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah like, I was I was very upset, yeah, bro. bro. I mean, I was, are, every, we, are, we, are we Man United? Are we yeah. Man United? Yeah, don't compare us to that, bro. All right, but let's actually get into it. The Austin FC goes, y'all, the first one. Gallagher. John Gallagher. John Gallagher. Out of nowhere, this guy, bro. This converted left back. My left one back. One of the most hardest workers on our team, bro. Mm. Just right foot it. Z just three toes, Zidane style, Totti style. You name it, bro. Just half a volley, bro. Half, half a the volley. Half volley, yeah, bro. Beautiful. Look at that. And, and it actually takes a, a crazy curve, bro. It takes a crazy curve. It curves inside. It looks like it's going out, and it curves its way inside the goal, bro. Tres, tres dedos, you would tres say. Tres dedos, as, as yep. they would say, in El Barrio. Yep. Shout out to, to John Gallagher, Bali. You have a take on this goal. Beautiful goal. Beautiful goal by, by, by Gallagher. And uh, my left back, G, you know, I'm, I'm very happy with him, you know. Th th that's one That's one player that I'm so happy for. He's not a left back. Though. And he's not a, not even a left back. <laughs> not even a left back, G. But he, he is he is now, and he's playing yeah, great. Yeah. Now, our second goal was uh, Julio Cascante. Primo, if you could find that for us real quick. Shout out to John Gallagher, by the way. Golazo. 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 Yeah, golazo. Yeah. Tremendo golazo by John now, Gallagher. At this point, Manchita and, and Houston were already in, yes. right? They now, yeah. pause that real quick, Primo. Pause that. You brought up a great point, Bali. At this point. Two minutes, Manchita has already been on. Yes, sir. Josh Wolf brought them on, and when he brought them on, Josh Wolf moved everything around, yeah, bro. Yeah. Danny Pereira came off. 
right? Yeah, yeah. Yep. Washington Corozo went to the wing. Yep. Diego Fagundes went to the middle. Yes, now there did. was there was some shouts from from both of you guys today, and there was some shouts from the fans on the Twitter space. They said that when Rigoni arrives, they wouldn't mind seeing Rigoni Corozo on the wings and move Diego in a number eight position next to Drusi at the 10 and ring in the back at the six, where some fans believe is his best position. You know what, bro? I don't even think we should wait till Rigoni gets here, bro. Do it already. I think I don't mind starting a game with Corozo. Corozo, I think, deserved the start, bro. I think if we can start Corozo and Finley and put Fagu in that Danny position, I think we should give it a shot. I mean, we got Minnesota next. And also reason why I had even brought that point up, Bali also brought that up, is because... Julio's goal is from a corner kick. Yeah. Now that corner kick was won by John Gallagher. Yeah. But John Gallagher was played in by Washington Washington. Corozo. Yeah. Corozo, a really nice cheeky ball. John Gallagher wins that corner kick, and we get another goal back. Let's see it right there. Bali, after the ball hits the net, give us your take on it. I mean, nice okay. by nice uh nice stuff by Husin and Julio. Drusi putting it in. Yeah. Deflection. Deflection. Nobody got the assist for this goal. I nah, was, I was, was checking it out. But Julio. Nobody got the assist? Nobody nah, got the assist. So. Nah, I was deflected off the sporting player. Julio getting another goal. Now, Bali, check this stat out, all right? Mm -hmm. Julio Cascante, the center back in the MLS with the most goal contributions. Three goals, oh, yeah. three assists. Number one in the MLS, Cascante. Mira. Eres mi pana, coño. Eres mi pana, coño, Cascante. <laughs> Eres mi pana, coño. What did I say at the beginning of the season? I said, Julio gives me David Luiz vibes. <laughs> David and David Luis, Luis has mistakes in him. So yeah. does Julio. Yeah. David Luiz. Yeah. He has and hella he mistakes. Has yeah. oh, he has bro, hella mistakes in him. Some respect, he has hella bro. mistakes in him. So does Julio, though. Yeah, yeah. Julio David has mistakes Luis, bro. in him. Bro, li listen, listen. Let me finish. He Julio has mistakes in him as well. Mm -hmm. But he gives you goals and assists, bro. Yeah, he does. So that he gives me David Luiz vibes. Look, man, I, I'm, I'm, it makes me happy when, when Julio scores. You know, we always say Compare him to last year to this year, you know, it's a completely different night player, and day, bro. Night and day. Yeah, so uh, and I, I'm day. happy. And whenever this, whenever this, this will go happen, I need, I honestly, I need, hey, we're coming back. Shout out Get to ready. Lucen. Shout out Shout to Lucen. Right Shout out to, and he also scored, you He's, know what hey, I'm his, his, uh, his moment's coming up. Let's actually get into it. The next goal, the tying goal, the 3-3, three, three, Danny Husen, Primo's getting it up right now. Bro. Incredible goal. And now this. Great stuff by, by, by Komenik. Look know? at this. Pause his, that his right cross. there, Primo. Go back a bit. Check this out. Red cleats. Dorothy right there. Dorothy from uh, Wizard of Oz. <laughs> <laughs> Felipe. Martin. Put it in the ball, bro. Oh. Another wolf sub. Another wolf sub. Bro, nice. One of my favorite goals of the f uh, at Q2, bro. Now, this question B. Home, bro. Question B. Fans on the Twitter space were saying this is the best goal scored at, at Q2 Stadium Ooh. by Austin FC. Thoughts on that? This I season? think it's one of I think it's one of the best goals. Ah man, that Drusy goal against uh, New York Red Bulls also up from there. From out, from way out. From way out, also mm -hmm. up there. Um, this technique is incredible. One of the best goals. Bro. Didn't even look at the goal, mate. I wouldn't say the best, but one of the best for sure, bro. I mean, God, bro, what a one, badass one, one shot. goal, bro. Bye. Bali, Mark, Mark Turner was the one that said it first this on Twitter, and then Brad said it on the uh, I think Twitter space. This this season, mm, this season it might be. I think. Last season, that Mackenzie Gaines goal yeah, against that Galaxy, that yeah. was crazy. That was the goal last This goal. is better than the Mackenzie nah, Gaines goal, bro. I don't know. I don't know. This is, they, this they is kinda 10 go times at it. better they, than they the Mackenzie Gaines. No, no, no. But to but be Gaines fair, this is, a, a, this is a great goal, though. Gaines was against a good Galaxy. LA Galaxy team. Yeah, it was a good We shouldn't even be down three goals against that's, Sporting That's KC. a good point. Yeah. Yeah. But this, that's this, a great point. This is a golazo. And uh, for a minute, I think the players thought that he might have been offside. But I think it was Drusi, the one that was offside. And Houston. Perfect, perfect run, and, and he got and the goal. And who was subbed in, bro? Yeah, he was subbed in. Bro, one thing that I'm seeing from all these goals is that while the players celebrate, you know who's getting the ball from the back of the net trying to take it to the middle? Fago? The guy that's having his moment next, the MVP, oh. Sebastian Drusi. Check this out. Check this out. Look Drizzi. at that. Waiting, look at it. Hands up. Excited. Let's, uh, after this replay, is going to play the next goal. Minute 94, Sebastian Drusi, goal <sighs> ATXB. I mean, who else? Who else but Drusy Dior, right bro, there. to score yep. the game-winning goal? I mean, come on. Why Man. was nobody marking him, bro? And I think this goal is a lot tougher. Yeah, sure, it's like a little tap-in. But if you look at it from a different angle, there's two Sporting KC defenders and the goalkeeper. And he kind of needled. Right he there, kinda, he He, he kind of placed it, yep. bro. I yep. mean, against who else, the run. Bro? Who Against the run. Yeah. Against, the, against run. the run. Who else? 
Who else, bro? I mean, Probably. they, they gave, I mean, they gave us ten minutes extra time. I mean, yeah. come on. I mean, that, that's enough so, time. No, no, rightfully, rightfully so. Rightfully, rightfully, rightfully so. so. Yeah, rightfully, rightfully so. so. But I, I knew, man, that's enough yeah. time for us. That's enough time for hey, us. Hey, just attack. know, ninety minutes at Q two, it's long time, bro. It's a long yeah. time. And and the players last night, bro, and they reacted on uh, social media this morning also. Ethan Finley said that this was one of the most memorable games of his career wow. because of the atmosphere. Ethan Finley. Yeah, yeah, it was crazy, uh, man. Felipe said that also. Sebastian Drussi came out and said that it was a crazy atmosphere. Also, Josh Wolf said that the atmosphere is the reason why they're able to make these comebacks. Yeah. I just want to see a convincing win at home, guys. Yeah, man. Comebacks I mean. are great, but let's win convincing at home. I think I'd rather have a 4 3 0 smashing of KC than this, bro. I mean, come on. Yeah. Easy. And we true. should. We should. I mean, you know, uh, you know, we play Sporting Kansas City twice, and you know they've had all the time they had. They're at the bottom of the league. They have no pressure. They can do their homework and try to beat us. And we shouldn't have been down three one, bro. But I'm glad we got the three points. Real quick, B, just in a couple words, because I got to move on to the next topic with Primo. Thoughts on Washington Corozo? How did he do? Great. I think I don't think there's been a moment, and he hasn't started yet, that he doesn't seem lively. He gives me. I mean, he's he, when he came in, he was always trying to take on one on one. He was yeah. always trying to be like, come on. Yeah. Like trying to take one, someone on, so I'm very impressed, bro. I I I hope he gets to start soon, bro. I hope he does. Bali, how was uh, Washington? La, Ma- La Manchita was great. You know, he he was good. He was good. I did see that he was trying to take a man on, yeah. and uh, he uh, he he had like I think like one or two mistakes that I saw, but it, he was just I think he just wanted to go out there and, and play good, and he. He was great, man. I, I would love to see him start. Yeah. He's what you he's what you would say. He was lively. He did. He looked very lively. Yeah, he did. Mm-hmm. OK, OK. I'm, I definitely want to see him get comfortable with this team and see what he can do going on into the future. But put him. Let's see what what topics have we covered already, bro? Which ones do we have left? Uh, so we covered all the goals. We covered the game. Um, that just leaves us with the expectations for next season. Let's start with you, B. Because this was something that uh, we had talked about yesterday. Expectations for this season or next? Expectations for this season. You know, like what do you? Where do you think Austin FC is going to end up? We got to have that second seed in the in the West. Hundred percent. We can't let that second Hold on seed to it. slip. Hold on, Hold to, on it. to it. We're nine points ahead of Dallas. So shield shouts over. <sighs> it all depends on LAFC, bro. Um, and they look we, unstoppable right now, bro. They look unstoppable. But they just, they, they, they the absolutely out of Charter, had their way with Charter, bro. <laughs> Oh God, <laughs> they destroyed Charlotte five zero, and uh, it's for me to come five zero. I thought it was five zero, brother. Primo, can you can you please fact, fact check, check that? me, fact Primo? Check that, please, I love I to get. Fact I thought checked. it was four. I love to get fact checked. There's, there's no it way was, it was five, bro. It was five, bro. Madre mia, una five. manita. Five. That's why I told una you, bro. Manita. Una manita, bro. Who? So, oh on the question you pose on me, the shield, I think it's gonna have to come down on level. See what they, what they, someone's gonna have to stop him, bro. Not only once, but twice, but three times. I don't see this LFC team losing three in games in a row. Yeah, 100%. And with that being said, I don't see Austin FC winning out the rest of the season. You want to know something crazy? What's up? The LFC Filtro Boys said in one of their tweets, no bail, no Chiellini, no problem. Bro, I don't even think, bro, look, check this out. Let me Who cares let me throw say, this out a wrench out here at the spot. I'm just saying this is a yeah, crazy scoreline for them not to play. Scoreline. I'm hey, just saying. Hey, I'm just saying, Primo, can you do me a favor? Let's talk about I want to bring this up question up to you. Primo, can you bring up when the MLS Cup uh, is going to be? And uh, if LAFC go to the MLS Cup. Oh, World Cup. World Cup is what, like one, two weeks away maybe? You think Bell is going to play in that MLS Cup? If it's a week away from well, the World Cup? I mean, this, they didn't they didn't have either one of them, and they still got five of them up there. Yeah. Bella isn't going. Chicho ain't going because his country didn't make it to the World Cup. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, so yeah. if they can keep playing like this without Gareth Bale, yes, it is Charlotte, the yeah. expansion team, the new team of the season. You know, they have drama with their coach. A lot of their key players left because they know that it's a sinking ship. Shout out to the homies from Charlotte. It is what it is. Yep. A lot of players are leaving. They just sold one of the, they sold their first player. Yeah. Their first signing already did, bro. Yeah. Yeah. I so mean, to be fair, it's, it is it is it, Charlotte. It's Charlotte. It's, Charlotte. it's, it's a joke of a FC, club, bro. Panthers I mean, FC. You see the invi- you, you see the ambitions compared to our club. I mean, yeah. it's noticeable. But the point I wanted to bring it up is that LFC is gonna have to drop points not only just once but twice but three times. Maybe three times. I don't and see that don't happening. See okay. So back to your you original both. question as far as Austin's ambition. I think our main goal is to hang on to that number two seed. Okay. Yeah. All right. And uh, Brad yesterday on the Twitter space, shout out to him. He said he was like, "Hey guys, you know, no, uh, the sh- MLS Cup winners and the." What was his his tweet? He said that 
the Shield winner has only won the MLS Cup five times yeah. in the last 22 years. And Primo just brought it up. MLS Cup will be played on November 5th, more than two weeks prior to the 2022 FIFA, FIFA World, World Cup, Cup starts so on the 20th. That's close, bro. November 20th. That's it, it, close. It actually got moved yes, up. Which I, it, got, it got moved up. I'm down. I got moved I'm up. I'm down. Sooner the better, bro. No, I can't I'm wait. not down because a lot of fans are going to be fucked. A lot of Why? fans. What do you mean? Because people are already made plans, brother. That's true. That's a true. lot of people that's already true. made plans. But that's where the fans going. Yeah. I'm for, true. I'm watching it right here. Me brother. too. I'm so you watching think it. Right <laughs> you think they'll make it? You think the LA will go all the way? Um, I think so. No, playoffs is a different story. Playoffs, everything gets refreshed. Everyone's on the even path. Um, but as far as the shield, I think that they need to drop points. I don't see them doing that. That's Bobby, same question. <laughs> Sum it up real quick. For Man, me. look. Forget about it. Forget about the shield. You know, LAFC, they look unstoppable right now. You know, nobody can beat them. They're trashing teams, they're destroying teams. What they are doing, we should be doing too, you know? Mm. But uh, I say we'll, we'll stay in second. We'll stay in second. I'll take the home game at the Q2. Uh, but, um, you know, I fear I fear that they might they might beat us at the Q2. Mm. You know, uh, we could play Nashville, we could play Portland, or we could play the Seattle the Sounders. Am I confident? I'll be real, not really. You know, it, it's it, all those three. All those three teams are, are are tough, and especially at the Q2. You know, they could, well, they can spank us too. We score three. Are we going to score four on them? Are we going to go score four on on the Sounders? Are we going to score four That's against the against uh, Portland? We've we've done it before at the Q2, but are we going to do it again? Proper teams right there. Proper coach. Yeah. Plus, so we're we're the best road team in the league. Primo, can you uh, real quick and can you please search up the requirements to get into the uh, CCL? Like, how do you qualify? Because Brad was saying yesterday. That if we get second place, or if we get to the Western Conference Finals, wrap it up, we get to the CCL. I believe if you get to the Western Conference Finals. I think first place of each conference goes automatically. The MLS Cup winner. I think he said second, too. I, I think it's right? I, I think he, right, I think he right. said right. He second, did, too. He did, he did. But, uh, I think he said it. You're right, Bali. Good take on that, brother. While uh, Primo finds that, uh, uh, just real quick, score predictions for the next game. Uh, we got Minnesota, Minnesota. away. Is not, I Minnesota mean, away. Yeah, Minnesota away. I mean, look, if I were to tell you San Jose Sporting KC are one of the worst teams in the league, we should be winning them. Look, we, we fucking struggled. We barely got three points against Sporting KC at home. So Minnesota's a tougher opponent. Um, it's going to be a tougher game, in my opinion. I think this might be like a 2-1, a, a 3-2 also. I'm going to have to go ATX with the dub because we have to, bro. If we, we have to win this game because if we lose, we're going to go to LAFC. I mean, it's going to be – it's not – like, if we win against Minnesota – Going to LAFC with just a slimmer hope of like catching to them, you know, would be great. But yeah, I, I got an ATX dub. I got an ATX dub. Bro. Even if we beat LAFC, bro, who else is gonna beat them? Yeah, Nobody. That's true. Even if we beat them, I don't think we could. No, I don't think we'll yeah. catch up to them. Yeah. I think. I think someone else gonna have to beat them too. Bro. I think they got it honestly. Yeah. All right, so Primo pull it up real quick before we get uh, Bali's Minnesota yeah. prediction. So what does so it look like, Primo? This, this was for last year's qualification, so I'm not too sure if it's the same. For this, should be though. Should coming be, right? up, yeah. But it's obvious that you know if you win the MLS Cup, yep. you, you make yeah. it through. Which is New York City FC last yeah. season, right? If you win the Supporter Shield, you make it through. Revolution last season, crazy season. This one season. says the 2021 MLS Western Conference regular season. So champions. Number first seed in the West, yeah. pretty much. Yeah. 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 yeah, 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 yeah. And then highest ranked U.S. based Division One club, not already qualified. Okay, okay. So, like, second – so, Supporter Shield and then second place of the Supporter Shield. Much, yeah. yeah, yeah. And then okay. the 2021 Canadian Championship, which Toronto won. So, mm -hmm. Toronto are in. And then the – So, that's what Brad's talking about, the Supporter Shield second place. Yes. Yeah. So, if we can get second place in Supporter Shield, we're in. So, that's why Austin MC is keen on keeping in that second place because yeah. something we were talking about yesterday yeah. is – do these guys know that we're pushing for that, you know, keep keep fighting yeah. for that first, or are they content with just top four? But you're like, no, these guys want to wrap up second place. Yes, second that's place. Second place, 100%. And that's what you said. And CONCACAF also has a, a, an impact on that. But just to slip, a, not, we have we have nine points above third place, bro. We cannot let, I mean, come on. We're we not, have a nice gap. We, we have, have a nice, have a nice gap. gap. We cannot let that slip up. If we end up going in third place, that's, I think that's, a, that's not good as, as far as the expectations go, bro. Uh, Bali, prediction for the Minnesota? I didn't get yours. Score prediction? I th uh, man, I don't know, bro. I don't know. I mean, I think, I think we'll be struggling until Emmy comes here. So I'm, I'm waiting for, for, for Rigoni to come in. I think the, we're expecting Claudio sets, I think, this week. Yeah. See, uh, hopefully they approve his visa. But then you got to give um, him a couple weeks to catch up. At come least on. two yeah. weeks. At least two weeks. Hopefully, to get hopefully he's uh, hopefully he's been training. Two or three weeks. Bro, he's hopefully out he's there. Been, <laughs> 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 he
<laughs> yeah, yeah, but hopefully he's been training. Hopefully he's been training. Sure, come on, mate. Sure, come on. Yeah, hopefully he's been training. But you don't uh, look like it. <laughs> I don't. I think. I think we're gonna struggle. I. I think. Of course, we're gonna. I. I always think. I always believe my team is gonna win, but I think we'll struggle. I think it'll be a two-one. A two-one. I actually think we're gonna draw on the road, and I'll. I'll take it. I wouldn't mind seeing a, a rotated lineup with mine that we got LAFC next, bro. Man, we're the best road team in the league. We're though. the best road team in the league. The best yeah, road team in the league. Primo, score prediction for the Minnesota match, mate. Um, I don't know, man. It's tough. I think, just keep in mind that we are really good on the road. I'll say we'll get the dub. But, like you said, I wouldn't mind seeing the rotation. So, if we do rotate to get ready for LAFC, we might have a tougher game. Uh, but I come. I say we come out with the dub. Two Minnesota, one. who's had some crazy games as well. They just they just lost to Colorado. Uh, well, they play Na- They play Nashville today at eight thirty. Uh, we're uh, recording this on Sunday. Yeah, they're playing right now. They play Nashville today at eight at eight twenty five. It's almost eight here. Uh, they they just lost to Colorado four three, and then before that they tied against Portland four four, mm-hmm. and they beat Houston before that two to one. So. Uh, I'll take a 1-1 away, or I wouldn't mind getting away with a cheeky 1-0, a cheeky 2-1. I wouldn't mind that at all. Drucy gets on the score sheet. Diego scored against them. Remember that last season? Diego got yeah. on the score sheet off of a beautiful Jared Stroud pass. Wouldn't mind seeing that one more time. Yeah, I think it's a little cooler in Minnesota as well. You know, yeah. get a little away from Gabriel the Gabriel needs that. Mm-hmm. Gabriel said, I really think the heat is getting to Ruben, bro. It's hot, bro. It's freaking it's hot. It's hot, bro. Not, not, only, not only that, but the, the time, bro, that he's been playing, all yeah, the minutes. that's true. That's yeah. true. That's bro, true. he's been playing so many. Uh, last thing. Last thing on the Austin FC subject and the MLS overall in general. For, for Austin FC, one name. Hot seat for this week. What players on the hot seat? I'm gonna have to say Danny, bro. Danny Pereira. I think I'm gonna have to say Danny. Da- Danny or Ring. Danny or Ring. Oh Danny or Ring. Danny or Ring. Wow. Pretty well, who's on the hot wow. seat and, for Austin FC? Wait, before wow. hot seat, as in like what? Who can see the bench? Maybe. Mm, oh, is, that, is that what you're saying? You yeah, want to well, see? What's, what's the hot seat? The I hot seat is pretty much just putting a player like on notice, saying, "Hey, this game you didn't do that well. Oh, okay. We're put you in like in case, timeout. In that case, I would say Finley. For that mistake. Finley in timeout. Okay, Finley yeah. on the hot seat for... But if, for if, if next week, bro, if I had to pick someone, I, w- I want to see Corozo, bro. And he, he would have to take... He, someone would have to come off. And Diego would move to Danny's position. Corozo would move mm, to the wing. I think... Yes, I think so. That's what I would... I wouldn't mind seeing that. Diego did well. Yeah. Diego did well. Primo? Hot I'm seat or timeout? I'm going to say Uruti, bro. Oh, Ooh, that's a good one. That's a good one. Say, that's a good one. Wait, wait, wait. We... Who, Uruti played, bro? That's Uruti what played? What? Bro, what? Good shit, yeah. bro. Good shit, bro. Good shit, Primo. Good shit. I like that. Yeah. I like that. That's what, that's what we need, Primo. Top flight needs Primo. Bali, who's in the hot seat? Uh, I got a couple. Uh, Ruben, Julio, God. Ethan. God. And, uh, Damn, bro. Ruben, that's a sauna, bro. Ruben, uh, that's a sauna. <laughs> hold on, hold on. That's uh, not a hot seat. That's a sauna. Uh, Ruben, Julio, Ethan, and Brad. You know, uh, I need to see better. I need to see better from you. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I'm going to have to go with Brad. I'm gonna have to go with Brad. I mean, uh, I mean, I would go with Brad too, but I don't want to see Tarbo in. So two shit. mistakes. That's true. That's true. That's true. <laughs> but I'm not saying bench Brad. Yeah. Lalo was Lalo and the fan reactions yeah, last yeah. week. He was yeah, saying he that bench we need to look for no. He said we need to look for a new keeper. We need next a, season. we need to start looking for a new keeper. I'm like Lalo. Yeah, that's a hot yeah. take, bro. Madre mia, coño. Yeah, just, Madre, Madre mia. mia. And Phoenix Madre called mia. him out too. Phoenix yeah. called I, him I, out. I rather, I rather see Brad all day, every day than, than 100%. Tarbo. 100. Now, uh, you know, Danny for sure. It hurts me to criticize Danny, bro. It hurts me. It hurts you for real, bro. I mean, I, I look. I, I, look at me. I think. Look at me. I think <laughs> at me to, when to, I'm talking to you, bro. To be honest, to, 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 <laughs> Terry to, Neville. Over Terry Neville. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, I think the criticism is it's not fair. It is to what it honest. is, bro. It That's is what, what I it think. is. Look, um, Corozo want. I need to see Corozo play, and someone's gonna have to turn the bench. Yeah. And if I had to pick one, I would. Ultimately, Danny, ultimately though, shout out to my boy Danny. I'm gonna have to go with Maxi. I like that take, Primo. Yeah, who's Where, you like that? What, what, you like who's, that? Who's in? You like that V? You like that V? You like that V? Chill, 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 chill. Hey, who's in? Hey, who's in? Hey, 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 yeah, that's it. All right, that's great stuff, guys. Uh, let's hop on the jet. It's time oh. to go to Europe. Oh, We're going oh. on holiday oh, oh, oh. over the Atlantic. <laughs> We're going to land in London, England. Okay, okay. Hopping on the jet, the yeah. top flight private airplane, Primo the pilot. There's only one place to land, bro. Yeah. There's I think only, there's only one place to land. One place yeah. to start it off. Only one place. Take us. London. 
Oh, Chelsea, bro. Tottenham. What a game, What a game, bro. What a game. What a game. What a game that was a, that was a I'm going to just game. say this. I'm going to just say this. This game. discussion is going to be dominated, you know, obviously by, by being the biggest Chelsea fan in this podcast. Bali also going to come on in. But let me just say this. Personally, this is a game that I'm going to remember for the rest of my life, bro. Never, fuck? never seen anything like this, bro. And I'm talking about the coaches. Yes, bro. I'm talking about the coaches. When has that ever happened? Never. Uh, when never. has that ever happened, bro? When never, have you bro. seen that on TV? Never. Someone Go might ahead, have B. to fact check us. Go bro. ahead, B. Give us your thoughts yeah, on this. I game. mean, dude. First of all, I just want to say, oh, gr- this is this was. I, I taste the group chat. I said, what's the biggest game of this weekend? And I'm not talking Premier League. I'm talking world football. What's the biggest game? What's the biggest top flight game of the weekend? And I think we all agreed it was Chelsea Tottenham. And the game lived up to the hype, bro. Battle at the bridge. Is what battle at the bridge. Battle I mean, at bridge. battle at the bridge two because there's already one. This is battle at the bridge two, bro. I mean, what a fucking game. Since right off the bat, physical game. You know, Conte's side, they like to be physical. You know, he wants his team to be to be aggressive. And uh, we start off the scoring with Golasso by Koulibaly. A volley off the corner. I mean, bro, the, from a center back. I mean, come on, guys. What do you think of the goal, bro? I mean, the goal. Check the stats. Check his fact I can't remember the last time I've, I can't remember record, the last time I've seen a volley off a corner. That was, that was a really good you technique, You know what I mean? So, look, look, look. There it is right there. Cucurella, assist. Yeah. Volley off a corner? Full volley. Not just like a – it wasn't a deflection. It was a full volley what off a, moment a corner for, for, yeah, for Koulibaly. So, uh, Golasso uh, on that and then, um, you know – Chelsea absolutely dominated the first half, bro. Um, just complete domination in the first half. Tottenham couldn't even get out of their box. Uh, but, it, hey, 1-0 is 1-0. You know, when you dominate for that long, you only have one goal to score. The team's always going to be in the game. And um, Todd Bowley. Todd Bowley, Todd Bowley absolutely yeah. loving it. <laughs> absolutely <laughs> loving it. Todd Bowley, the new Chelsea owner. Uh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Todd Bowley. Uh, I was really impressed with Cucurella, bro. Cucurella yeah, he's good. is just what a signing! Ah, what a bro. signing! He what stands a signing. out, bro. Yeah, he's good. Yeah. He stands out so much. Just his passing is for his two reasons, obviously. Yes. One, his technique, and, and two then, is one thing that we're gonna get into yeah, later. His hair, his hair, his hair stands out too. Uh, Golazo de Koulibaly, but then Tottenham do pull one back, bros. Um, we're gonna get into that primo again. The highlights up here. Shout yes, out to sir. primo. Shout out primo. Cooking sure. it up in the like, back. I don't have to have the Mac here. I could just you know have my drink, my boy primo. There uh, it is. The Look at that right there. Who, who's that be right there? Oh, that's a foul? Yeah, that was a foul. foul. That's a foul, my fault. But there was an issue with – there was a foul on uh, Kai Havertz. And look, the coach saw me getting heated. Look, 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 look at the goal. Look at the goal. This is where it's starting? Okay. No, it started on the the Havertz foul. So, Havertz gets fouled, bro. Um, Doesn't get called. Obvious foul. Obvious foul. And to be fair, the the plague does go on for like a minute and a half. You know, it, it it was a little bit of time. I give him that before Jorginho makes the mistake. Jorginho gets caught in the box, doesn't clear it. Ricochets and uh, I think it was Hoiberg who 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 scored. I forgot. Yeah, it was Ho- Hoiberg gets yeah. the shot off and a uh, goal. And to be fair, it was a it was a good goal. goal it was a one. laser of a shot, bro. It was a laser, bro. Just laser bottom corner, bottom corner. Uh, off the Jorginho uh, mistake. Somebody should honestly got a foot on it or something because it, it went, was it there was like so it, many yeah, people in the box. There was a lot of bodies. There was a lot of bodies. A lot of bodies in the box, bro. But yeah. hey. Sometimes football's like that, bro. And I, I just want to bring it up also that uh, James started playing center back. We got Loftus Sheik playing right, right back, right wing back. So I was like, okay, you know, James playing center back. I'm like, all right, let's see, it is what it is. Um, but doesn't the foul doesn't get called? Look, there's a foul. I mean, you tell that's me. Right yeah, that's it right there. That's it. That was a foul by Betancur. Betancur. Beta, bro, that's a foul. Me, that's a foul, that's mate. That's a foul, mate. That's but, a foul. But the way the referee's looking at that's it, it foul. looks like he touched the ball, bro. Yeah. Look, Kai Havertz going to look. Look at that. And also, Kai Havertz went at it with Romero, bro. The whole game, they yeah, were they pinching each other. Yeah, they they were, were like low key, like you know, like I would have been mad. Motherfucker pinches me, dude. Bro, they're low key, like in their each other's faces, and then this is where the goal. And to be fair, bro, look, coming from a Chelsea fan. The, the play did go on for like a for minute. For a while, for a for while. For a little while. But the, if the foul was called, I don't think the goal happens. Yeah, for, it was and for a while. And Jorginho gets the ball in the box, hesitates a little bit. He gets pressure. He, he has a lot of pressure on him. He should have cleared the ball. He, he should have cleared the ball right, right there. there. Right there. Clear. Right there. Clear. 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 Get it out. Get it out. Hoiberg. And then Hoiberg with the laser shot. Boom. Just yeah. laser shot. Now, Ooh. do you think Mendy could have done better on this, on nah, this shot? That was a good shot. That was a good shot. It couldn't have not gone any further. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Two OGs yeah, getting yeah, in yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Two Con- OGs getting Con- in it. Bro, at, at that yeah. point, at that point, just hit him in the face, bro. bro I don't. At bro. that point, they're right there. They're right in front of each other. What just stick him. Freaking stick him in the face. What do you think? What do you think Conte told so, him right so there? So I B? think the issue with that with the tying game was also the the foul on Kyle Havertz, right? 
But uh, Conte went and celebrated on Tucho's face. Yeah. He ran up to the to the to the Chelsea bench and like said ah like right in their face. Conte style. Conte style. That's what he does. And then Tucho said got in his face and it was just a heated altercation. Tucho Tuco asking him to get to his side and a lot of stuff going on. At this point, it's one one. Um, Chelsea, not quiet, bro. Because what? Reese James. Dude, <laughs> Tuk, Tuk, dude, Tuco is insane, bro. Right. Uh, <laughs> uh, take us into the next goal, yeah, yeah. please, Reece if you can James find it real it quick. Up. Uh, nice ball by Conte. Sterling involved with the assist. Is this it right here? I think. It, no, it's not it there, right there. But yes, the assist by Sterling. Whenever yeah. oh. we get it on screen, Havers missing a sitter too. Look right. at yeah, this. Yeah. You, got, you got to finish that. Yeah, Haver missing that. a sitter, bro. Finish your dinner, mate. Yeah, this is the goal right here. Conte, Conte. lays it off to Sterling. Sterling. Sterling to James and James completely is unselfish Sterling, yeah. bro. Yeah. And you know what? Golazo. Typically, bro, Sterling is one of those selfish yeah. players, bro. Yeah, and look, look at Tucho. Look at Tucho. Look at Tucho, bro. Straight up as it revenge from the first goal. Now, yeah. interesting. Later on, uh, thirty minutes before we started recording the pod, yeah. fa uh, fa Fabrizio Romano? tweeted a screenshot of, uh, Conte of Conte's Instagram. Instagram story that said, "Lucky I didn't see you I run through my zone. Yeah. I would I would have tripped you. Yeah. Yeah. Imagine if he, he would have seen him. that. Oh on TV, my bro. god! He and he would have pulled his hand. If, oh if he would have tripped god. him, it would have gone oh, off right yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It would have gone off. It, so, multiple red cards. Tuchel retaliated from the first goal that Tottenham scored. So he's like, "Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. So Chelsea scored. Like, yeah, okay, back yeah. to you. Back yeah. to you. Back. So he Your runs move, across mother. Mourinho style. You know what I mean? James." At now, this point, I thought it was ah, uh, this has to be this is, has to be it. Now, be whenever Reese James scored this goal, stadium completely erupted. Yes. What were they singing? Reese James, you're one of our own. Reese James, he's one, one of our own. own. He's, he's one, one of our own. own. Magic. I mean, academy player Reese James is loved by Chelsea fans, and uh, yeah. could have been saved. Not all that, but right. could have been saved. Honestly, shot right down the middle. <laughs> he's okay, but. He's, he's, he's pretty good. He's future okay. uh, okay. Real Madrid player. Uh, sure, I'm sure Madrid future Real Madrid player. I'm, I'm sure. 100%. I'm sure. I'm sure. I'm sure. 100%, I'm sure. brother. Barca and Madrid just straight freaking poaching us, bro. Hey, that's I mean, Barca, bro. We do good business. I mean, Hazard, you guys are still making <laughs> money off of him, bro. <laughs> we'll, get, we'll get to that. Hey, I got notes. Yeah, yeah, okay, I got good, good, freaking good, good. notes yeah, on I'm that, I'm ready for that. You're still making money But here's the here's the money one. Boom. What a save. No, no, no. This is the save by Mendy. But look at this, bro. Romero. That was a crazy save. This is disgusting, bro. bro. It was I can't like, believe this It happens. was like two drunk girls down 6th Street when they're fighting, when they pull their hairs. You like, remember that oh, famous yeah, video that. of a girl uh, soccer player in like a match and she's yes, just and pulling she's the just, girl? Yeah, yeah. yeah point Same tongue. thing, Look brother. at this replay. Look at this replay. Nah, look, yeah, look. Oh, oh, my God, bro. Yeah, His bro, neck snap back. <laughs> look, it goes yeah. to Vore. It yeah. goes to Vore. It sh it Vore been is a, looking at it. It should have been a card. They're and looking nothing. at it. And, and nothing. nothing. No yellow, no foul. Nothing, bro. Disrespectful. Nothing. Disrespectful nothing. To if anything, the it's a card. That's if it, anything, though. it's a card and a foul. Minimum. Nah, not a, Minimum. Not a foul. Not a foul. A card. Oh, that's not a foul, mate. Nah, it's a card. That's it's not a, a foul. Card. You it's fucking blind, bro. It's a card. They pulled his hair, bro. His neck snapped back. I'm, bro. Nah, that, he that was probably, pretty tough. Bro, he needs to get his vertebrae checked, bro. Bro, that's funny. That's really funny. That's fucked up, bro. I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry. Bored watched it, bro. There was a guy on the screen watching Cucurella's head snap back and said, I'm good, mate. I'm good. Really? I'm good. Nah. Really? Nah. The corner ensues. Question. Harry Kane ties it for Tottenham. You think that guy on VAR was bald? <laughs> I'm, I don't know. <laughs> it it, it could have been bald. It could have been like, bald. He was like, nah, yeah, I don't see the probably, problem. Look at, that, look at that hair, Cucurella. Look at you his know hair, what I'm bro. Beautiful hair, by the way. Beautiful hair. Yeah, it's cool hair. Beautiful, Beautiful hair. hair. Distracting, Beautiful hair. to be honest. But then the, the corner ensues. Nothing was... Uh, Harry Kane. Harry Kane. What a goal. Harry Kane. Yeah. Who Ties else? Who else, bro? Who else? With literally the last touch of the game. The last kick of the... Last the last kick touch of the game, game. bro. Celebrating, Celebrating with the away with the fans. fans at Stamford Bridge. To end the game. And uh, probably what's going to be the most talked about thing, and it has been the most talked about thing, is the end of the game. The full the full whistle blows. And then, uh, Primo, if you want to fast forward to the... You know how managers, they shake hands at the end of the game? Yeah. It's yes. a tradition. It's yes. a thing you do. Yes. Premier League, everywhere else around the league, you shake hands, good game. This is a this is a small part of the game that I like to see. Yeah. Before yeah. the game ends. Check it out. Before check I out. change channels. And guess what? This is what we see. We see whistle blow. Yeah. Shake yeah. my hand. Oh, you want to oh, hold it? Oh, 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 you want to hold it? Oh, are you ready, mate? You want to do this right now, mate? You want to do this right now, mate? Scenes at Stanford Bridge. That's why this, I think this is. They should have just fought right there. Hey, shout out to shout out to Nino Jaimes. He said that Conte and Tuco were going to be B and Bali later on <laughs> in the <laughs> Top Guy podcast. But uh, I have one one question for yeah, you two, yeah. yes, all right? Sir. 
Primo, I'm also ask you, out of these two teams, who's going to make top four? Because I, I, I think number one city, Liverpool's going to be there also. Yeah. Arsenal's playing good football. We're going to get into yeah, that. We're playing really good. Arsenal's playing good football. Amazing. I can see them sneaking into, into the third. But fourth place is still up there. Is it going to be Chelsea or is it going to be Tottenham? B. Of course, I'm going to say Chelsea. Uh, you call me biased all you want, but Chelsea, uh, they look good. They didn't look good against Everton. They look good as a Bro, Chelsea dominated against Tottenham. You, come on, Bali. Did yeah, they not? No, no, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah should have destroyed We should have destroyed Tottenham. Should've destroyed we should have destroyed Tottenham. We, are, we dominated Tottenham on the field, but that's how football is. 2-2. Two, two. Tottenham are also doing pretty good. I'm not going to lie. Uh, a lot of signings were made. And if your question is who makes top four, I think Chelsea make top four, bro. Over yep. Tottenham. Yeah. I think so, too. Yeah. I think Although Ch- Tottenham I th- looking good, bro. I think Chelsea make top four. Bro, my phone, I'm the admin for the Twitter and the Instagram. B is also yeah. in uh, control. Dude, social medias are popping off. Yeah, I, I mean, we I just dropped fan on. reactions, bro. So, yeah, uh, we're, we're, we're going to get to it after the pod. I mean, she. Respect <laughs> to the to the uh, show. going to get back into it. But Primo, who's going to make it into top four? W- real quick, one name, one name. Chelsea, Damn, Tottenham. That's hard, bro. Chelsea, they're both man. looking good. Chelsea, bro. But I just Chelsea. think. I don't know. Tottenham's kind of known for choking, bro. So I yeah. feel like <laughs> I feel Ballin. like Chelsea, I feel like Chelsea's gonna make top four, and along with Arsenal, City, and Liverpool. Damn. Chelsea, everybody, Chelsea. Yeah, yeah. I think Chelsea. Chelsea. I think if you watch this game, you would say Chelsea because Chelsea absolutely yeah. dominated this game. I'm gonna go with my boy Han. I'm gonna go with Tottenham. Man. Tottenham. Tottenham. <laughs> boys. Mean, to be fair, Conte is a great coach, so he he could pull. He's a great coach. He's a great they coach. Also this they also spent a lot of money this season. Yeah. They spent a lot of money. Bro, this. And just to we can wrap this uh, topic up. I mean, great Tuch- game, Tucho and Conte, bro. Yeah, I mean, yeah great coaches. C- come on, bro. What do you? What do you? I've never seen that ever. Yeah, they're, they're, they're gonna make a lot of good TikToks. You are, you already sent some good ones. I already sent some good yeah. ones. Yeah. All right, guys. Moving on to the next game, we got Brentford versus Man U. Man you in the <laughs> oh my Eric, god! Eric, 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 ten. Ha 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 ha. <laughs> I, uh, I'm bro, laughing I, at you, boy. I, I don't know if y'all saw the meme I sent earlier this week, but out of I, all of them, <laughs> out of all of them, right? There was one where it was this dude that's like bald and he has a big head. He's like, I'm, I'm, I'm panicking. And it's like, no, <laughs> don't uh, panic. And she's like, I'm panicking because I think I'm gonna lose my job. <laughs> that's ten yeah. high, bro. Yeah, bro. Ten in the high, mud, bro. In the mud, bro. Bro, thirty. It's, it's bad. Okay, thirty-five minutes in. Four nil, bro. I was watching this game at home, bro. I'm getting uncomfortable thinking gonna, about it, bro. I don't, I don't care about United. Fuck them. Yeah, I don't care about them either. All right, watching that game, they're on the bo- they're on the wall. They're on the wall. Watching that, and and we got Forrest on the him. wall yeah, too. We gotta Forrest. take them out the wall. Shout out Mike Turner. That's for, embarrassing. For, for, that's embarrassing. That's embarrassing. But to watch them lose four zero to me, I was shook, bro. I was yeah, like, what is? Know. What am I watching? What am I watching here? I mean, I couldn't believe it. Pa- a part of me was saying, yes, five, six, seven, score eight. But then a part of me was like, damn, this is fucked up, bro. This is fucked up. It's I, sad. I, I remember witnessing this from United, but it was Liverpool that gave him a spanking. And that's Liverpool. Brentford, mate? Brentford, mate. Brentford. I can't, I can't process it, bro. Brentford, bro. I mean, they beat Arsenal last season. Yeah, okay, whatever. They're doing it to Man United. Did they beat them 4 0 30 bro, minutes four, in, bro? Man. Nah. Four, bro. Like, I mean, whenever the first one went in, you were like, haha, okay, it's All funny. Right, yeah, yeah. It's funny. Yeah. You know, maybe they're going to score one, but the second one, the, the second third one, one, the fourth one went in, and it they, it just, it, the, bro. The, the fourth one being their best goal, bro. The fourth yeah, one being the, the, one was the, the best one. And shout out the to the Brentford one. fans. I mean, savage fans. The chants. They you were could loud. hear them on the they TV, bro. Yep. Yes. They were saying, you're going down with the full ham. You're going Ooh. down with the full hand. I also heard, wow. you're fucking shit. You're fucking That's shit. That's iconic. You're fucking shit. I heard that one, man. Yeah. I couldn't I believe it. And, 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 and it's all, and it's all that guy's fault right there ah, on the screen. Don't even don't start, bro. Start. Yeah, I it's saw, all that I guy's saw, fucking bro, fault. I, I saw this video that was posted by Top Flight. It, it was not me because I would not have posted that video. Of, of somebody I, throwing I away did. the Ronaldo I jersey did. or a Manchester jersey in the garbage. Yeah. You're going to blame Ronaldo, one player, bro, out of the Glazers, just terrible recruitment, it's, it's the, the spending, everything. You're going to all that building up. You're going to blame one player, bro, Ronaldo. It was how sent can, from how a fan. can you do that, bro? I'm you, talking to you. Oh, you you talking agree. To me? Oh, you agree, oh, right? Oh, to me, he should leave. To me, he, he's done. Okay, he should to leave, me, but it's done. not his fault, bro. Yeah, it's not his fault, but to me, he, he's one of the... 
Last year when he came in, he should have he should have gone somewhere Man, else. this this I mean, bro, the the camera. The, look, Martinez too. Martinez is a center back, bro. Mar is Martinez a center back? My little brother's taller than him, bro. Bro, Martinez on the field looks like. He looks like a kid, bro. Oh, look, er er how does, that's how, the third goal. Look, no that's offense, goal. no no offense to Martinez. I'm sure he's a great player, but in the Premier League, you're gonna defend cor How are, how is he defending corners as a center back? Against Brentford, a team that's physical, bro. A team that loves aerial battle, I couldn't, bro. I couldn't believe it, bro. And look at this. The fourth goal right here is just beautiful. Luke Shaw. Beautiful, bro. Beautiful. Luke Shaw, right? Yeah. Luke Shaw, yeah. The freaking journeyman electrician, bro. <laughs> this dude this dude looks like he sits inside the trailer on every job site yeah. and just eats Cheez-Its, fam. Yeah, Cheez-Its. Just chills, and eats Cheez-Its. Yeah. And, and, pro <laughs> and, and, probably, and, and probably dips. Yeah, skull. I, I think probably I, dip bro, skull, bro. I, I run faster than him for sure. hundred percent. I run faster than him oh for sure. Luke God, Shaw, bro. embarrassing, embarrassing, bro. And you know what? Going back, bro, Mourinho said it best, bro. The greatest achievement in his career going was second was place. going second place with Manchester United, bro. That that is, that's facts, bro. Yeah. Facts. That's fact. That's the closest Man United has ever gone. And uh, to be fair, the gap between first and second was a lot. Yeah. But they were still second. I mean. Now, if if I want to give. A, Eric ten ha 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 hard <laughs> some uh Eric ten months some tips uh Eric <laughs> ten months wow that's that's Eric hey, ten bro, months that's, that's that's fucked up Eric yeah. ten that's, months he's got ten months he's that's sad, uh, mate. if Eric I want to give months. him a a tip you know um I was I was listening to Sky earlier and they were saying that uh um, they were saying they were saying that if, there was news there was news there was news that if yeah. Cristiano's attitude didn't improve. That they were, they were, they were, they might have terminated his contract. I mean, United, you know, you know, you know, you know no, okay. Let, 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 you know, let, let, let me, let me, let me tell you something. Uh, if I want to give Eric Ten Ha Ha Harg some tips, <laughs> you know, uh, I would tell you to go look at what Mikel Arteta did at ah. Arsenal whenever he he got rid of Aubameyang. You know, he took oh, no fucking yeah. disrespect. You come in late, but that's right, Aubameyang. No, hold on, hold on, hold on. You come in late, I write it down. You could, you come, in, you, you you do something wrong, I write it down. I get you out of here. So. Eric Ten, ha ha ha, grow some balls. And tell Ronaldo, you know what? Leave, get out of here, and keep calling these players out. You know, in his conference, he said that they were they played poor. Yeah. Bro, the today, next the next press conference, keep calling them out. Whoever's not playing, whoever isn't fit, keep calling them out. They they train them. What did they do today? They yeah, today today, today they ran what thirteen point eight kilometers because yeah, that's so how much more Brentford that's how much ran. more Brent, Brentford ran than Manchester United. What do you think, Chris? Bro, there's Thought no way, there's no way Chris did that. I'm I pretty sure Chris was I upset. Think he did. I'm pretty sure he was upset. Bro, I was I'm at, sure he was upset. You I was think at the gym today. That? I was at the, the gym today and I was doing uh shoulder pumps, you know what I'm saying? Just, uh, you know, killing it, right? Pre workout going in. And I was thinking to myself, I was I was thinking about what I was gonna say on on, on the uh <laughs> pod, right? And I was I was thinking about what Ten Hag made these these players do, and I was wondering, did Cristiano do it, bro? That, bro, no, there's I, no way. I'm, I'm pretty sure did, he, did, I'm pretty did sure Cristiano he did. Run? I'm pretty sure he did, but I'm pretty sure he had attitude. Yeah, and 100%. I'm pretty sure that's when those attitude links came out because they came out today in the morning. I'm pretty sure they came out oh, and they said it's all it's all tied together. And then there's supposedly there's like uh, there's a snitch in the United. Uh, don't, there's, don't been there's, 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 there's been there's one. Four, there's been one. There's been one. There's been one. Talking until there's, there's been there's a, one. Man, right now United are and on everybody's the mud. blaming McGuire. If if I'm being real, I think he bribed cops, bro. If yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you don't think he's gonna snitch? If, if, I think the, the, the best criminal, the bro. best choice for Eric Ten Ha 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 is to come out. And be a man, bro, and call out these players. Maguire, take take that captain, that captain. How is this guy still you a professional take, footballer? You take that out. You take that. Bye, Fred. Bro, I don't want Fred. McFred, go, go, go back to the academy. Go <laughs> send him. Send him to the U, U twenty one. <laughs> MLS over there. MLS. Belvicho, I'm sorry. Terminate his contract. Terminate it now and let him walk. That's hard. Let my, him walk. My, that would be the best. The best thing because harsh. this is gonna be a just a fucking a a guess, shit show, bro. And guess who they show. got next, mate? Liverpool. Guess who they got next? Liverpool. Question for Bali though: If if you were gonna term terminate Chris's contract, transfer windows is three big. weeks. About yeah, three, three weeks. weeks. It gives them enough time. They have time. time. Do you that think time. they have time? Yeah, it, it would have I to be right. So. It would have to. They be have now. to bring in somebody quick. It would who have are they to gonna, be now. Who are they gonna bring in? I have no idea. Morata. I have no idea. They're they're. What I do know that they're in for Rabiot. Rabiot. Uh, wow. uh, Juventus reject. Juventus yeah. reject. Juventus don't want him. He's on a ridiculous amount of money. Isn't that shit? And I think that's a desperate signing for United. 100%. But yep. supposedly 10, ha, 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 <laughs> wants him. He called him and he said, I want you here. So maybe he has a plan. But I think the best thing to do is to terminate Cristiano I, and let him walk. I don't, know, I don't know. I don't know. Because he doesn't want to be there. Plans. It's a shit show. He, he stays go. there. It's going to get worse. Go. He needs to go. He needs you to know, go. You know, he. 
I think he needs to my go. Question the is, best thing for the club. My question is, how is Maguire a professional player? And how is Martinez a center back? How is he, a, bro, a five foot nine center back, bro? They're, bro, I thought it was bro, Little Hazard or it. something. I thought it yeah, was. I can't believe it. That's yeah. part of the worst center back that, 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 ever, that's, yeah, not even, that's not even, that's not, that's not even, that's not the smallest center back in the EPL. That's just, might be the smallest center back in the world. In world football. <laughs> in the world. In world football. How in the world. De- how does he defend corners? How? Yeah, How? And then you you pay fifty like you pay fifty five million for this guy right, and then you pull him out halftime to put Varane in. You just crushed his his his, his confidence. You destroyed his confidence now. Man, he's, it's he's ruined. Like he's hurt right now. Bro. That's a good point, bro. Like it's 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 bad news. You know, I don't care about y'all. I'm I'm glad. I'm happy. I can't wait to see Liverpool spank y'all. I want to see a four five zero. I really Liverpool, do want to see it too. Now, real quick, some quick numbers on the Brentford game. We were talking about this earlier. Be first time since like freaking forty six, bro. I think world, after World War Two, bro, or World War Two era. Yeah. That Brentford has beat Man United, bro. That's insane. That's bro. now That's United insane. also go now on to lose their seventh consecutive away match. First time since nineteen thirty six that that's happened, bro. Nineteen thirty six, dog. Wow. Now in those seven games, they've conceded twenty one goals and only scored twice. G. In the mud, bro. Away. Away games. Yeah. Ronaldo away needs games. to get out of there, bro. I mean, th- they are bottom of the league. Yeah. Negative five. Yeah, relegation looming? Relegation. Right now, they're relegation. Yeah, they're right now. They're Two games in, league. yes. But Arsenal was there last season. Yeah, what, Arsenal, what, we'll back. what advice do Arsenal, you have we'll to back. young Manchester fans that are absolutely losing Bro, it? I went through this, bro, and I was hurt, bro. You just have to ride through it. Eric Ten, ha, ha, ha. He will eventually. He needs time, bro. I mean, he needs time. He needs like three transfer windows. Yeah. This, he needs like two years. Right. Like they've been, they, they've been going through it for at least yeah, ten years, yeah, bro. Yeah. Like they need. He needs like at least three right transfer Nick, windows. Right. Nick said they need eleven players. Yeah. Dang. That's a whole different team. That's yeah. at least three transfer windows. That's a full eleven. You know. So. Ronaldo. Man, Ronaldo, know. Ronaldo needs to get out, bro. Ronaldo, Ronaldo, Ronaldo needs to leave. Uh, let's see. Anything else on the Manchester United game? I'd Absolute embarrassment. It. I'd love to see it. Bro. Bottom sad, of the league, bro. bro. It's, it's, sad. it's so sad. sad. It's sad. It's sad. It's so sad, bro. It's just United is such a humane club, bro. Like, And I, 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 to be honest, if this continues, I think that the fans will put enough pressure that they even might sack Eric Ten. Ha, ha, ha. That would be sad. Primo, Damn, next bro. game, bro. Damn, that's crazy, bro. I'm just <laughs> like, bro, man, you know, it's just, yeah, it's bad. Bro. It's bad. It's bad. It's bad. Yeah. Look at but them. They're 20th. I, I know it's two games down, in, bro. but come on, bro. But on, a, sad, bro. on a better note, Arsenal versus Leicester City. Yes, my Arsenal. Arsenal coming up on top. Arsenal. Talk Jesus, to Gabriel, J. Jesus. Now Beautiful. you must be you must be flying, bro. Oh man, I, I'm, I'm Gabriel flying. with two goals. Martinelli also getting on the score sheet. Who scored the fourth one? It was oh no, the third one. It was Granite. Shaka and Martinelli also got on the score. Martinelli, sheet, Martinelli scored the fourth. You know we did our center back Sali- hey, Saliba, a hey, William Saliba. This, this score right here, hey, Saliba, this score right here, though. This one, score right here was Golazo. quality. Golazo. Saliba, uh, oh our twenty-one-year-old center back Saliba. He's been, he played very, very good our first game against Palace. Amazing. Everyone, all the pundits around the world were saying, "Wow, this twenty-one-year-old looks great." He played great today uh, against Leicester. Also, he did have an own goal. He did have an yeah, own goal. Did. It was he a did. mistake. A lot of people were blaming Aaron right there. Look at it right there. Aaron should come out. Oh, that's yeah, you know, unfortunate. It's unlucky. That's it's unlucky. unfortunate. It's unlucky. But you want, you want to know what I noticed? When that goal went in, bro, the, the, every single fan at the Emirates started clapping, bro. They started Damn, clapping, really? cheering him on, bro. And what? Mikhail noticed that, and he said in the press conference, he said, that is the best thing that, that the fans can do for this player. Because they're giving them confidence, bro. What happened here? That's, that's, that's weird. actually really that's cool. That's weird because that's normally really, really I weird. would imagine Arsenal fans killing them. Yeah, yeah, killing them, killing them. Yeah, 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 yeah. True, true, be true, be. But yeah. it's not like that, you know. And they see a young player that's, that's good, and he played good. We need to keep this going. We have Bournemouth next. We should spank them. Oh, that should be that should be easy. We should spank them. And then uh, I think we have Fulham, and then oh. after Fulham, we should beat them. We go to Old Trafford, <laughs> and I'm hoping. And I'm hoping that that United are are the, still at the bottom oh in the mud. God. Well, I mean they and have we Liverpool spank, next, bro. And we smack them at Old Trafford. We have we spank Liverpool them at Old next, Trafford. bro. There there is shouts of a six zero. Yep. There's shouts of a five zero coming for Liverpool. Man, it's United. already happened. It will happen. It yeah. could happen again. It, it might happen. even be more, bro. Oh but uh, Lisandro back yeah. there. 
Nah, he won't start no more. Who's there's, he gonna guard? No Van Dyke? That's nah, done. He's there's not. no way, bro. There's Van Dyke no is gonna is gonna step Nunez? on him, bro. Nunez? Oh my word. Nunez, Nunez is like is six foot four. Bro. Salah can probably even dunk on him, bro. Oh. Salah. <laughs> yeah, probably. Salah. They, they don't even have to jump, bro. It's bad, bro. Yeah. Uh, but, uh, Arsenal, we played awesome. We played great. Uh, the fans are in it. Uh, everyone's in it. We're happy. New season, great team. Uh, Bournemouth next. I think up. plus three, and uh, hopefully we keep winning. Arsenal on the up, bro. Yeah, B, anything great. you want to add on the Arsenal? Game? They're on the up, brother. They're on the up. Second place. Second place. Second place. Playing Second good. Place. Tied with goals with City. Hey, Tied with goals with City. Only, it's only good. two games. Only two games. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not but, getting confident, but, but I, it's it, better than last, it last feels season. Good. Last season, y'all were yeah, united. Yeah. Last season, yeah, y'all yeah, were, yeah. were united. Fantastic. I'm saying, United fans, hey, stay together right now, bro. Crazy top four right now. Man City, Arsenal, Brentford, and Tottenham. <laughs> yeah, yeah, got a long, yeah, long way, way to go. To go. Long long way to go. Way to go. But you know what's going to be interesting this season is the the World Cup break. A lot yeah, of these top teams yeah. are going to lose players, bro. Especially right before it starts. Everybody, yeah. Real Madrid, Barcelona, yeah, El Paris, EPL teams. Yeah, it's going to slow down right before because no one wants to go all out. Yeah. yeah. It's going to be interesting we'll see. to see what we'll happens. See. We'll um, see. Primo, do we have any other games in the EPL? Um, or I think we have wins. Two, two, yeah, two quick ones. Nottingham gets their dub. Four, not forced. Not him. Against who? West Ham? West Ham. West Ham. They got, West Ham. Honestly, Ham. they got lucky. Wash West Ham should have won. West, Wash bro, West Ham should have won, A honestly. lot of chances for they West had, Ham. Had a lot of posts bouncing off the yep. line. I mean, yep. uh, I think this dub goes to... Penalty him. saved as well. We yes, got to highlight Dean, yep. Dean Henderson, bro. Dean yeah. Henderson, the goalkeeper for non Forest. I think he deserves most uh, man of the match and also... He single-handedly gave non for his three points. Yeah. Now, it's, first it's actually it's, it's really important that you bring that up, B, because a lot of Manchester fans are saying, well, they, they, they were saying a couple weeks ago, why do we loan this guy out? This guy's a great keeper. Yeah. Saving a, a PK, you're saying giving his points, giving his team three points, yeah. while De Gea, some fans saying, lost the game for Manchester yeah, United. True. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. True. 100%, 100%. Dean 100%. Henderson, shout out to him. Yeah, shout yeah. out to him. Shout out to Nottingham for his first time, you know, this is the, the first time in, in 20 plus 20, years. 23 you know, we, years. He had a homie Mark Turner years. on the podcast and uh, he gave he gifted his jersey. It's back on the wall. I mean, it's finally on the wall. Yeah. And uh, yeah, I mean, three points for Nottingham. I, I you know, I I like that the jersey doesn't have a sponsor yet. Like yeah, they don't have a sponsor. So yet. I don't know if they're gonna get one or I think maybe they maybe they, they could get uh, they Yeti. Eventually. They could get Yeti. Oh. <laughs> they could get Yeti. <laughs> Yeti. Hey, Yeti would look. Oof. To, they be, could get Yeti. to be fair, oof, to be honest, I like that. To be honest, I kind of like the no sponsor look, bro. Yeah. I think it's it's a look to it. Throwback. They might need the funds. I don't know if they are. Uh, Mark Turner. We'll Mark Turner. See. Question: What sponsor would you like to yeah, see Mark Turner, on the Nottingham Forest jersey? Target. Maybe right. he maybe he'll say no sponsor. Let's just keep it clean like that. Yeah. Like the MLS All Star Target. 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 Yeah. Like the MLS All Star or like a PlayStation logo. Nah, the Eddie would be sick, bro. Fly yeah. Emirates. Fuck it. What about Top Fly? Flight? Top Flight Top Flight sponsor. Hey. Top Flight Top sponsor. Flight. I'm down. I'm Shit. down. Who do we get in contact with? Uh, I think Mark Turner. Mark Turner. Mark Turner. Mark Turner. Mark Turner. My G. Mark Turner. <laughs> the CEO. Also, uh, Man City won. Yes, of top course. of the league, of Man course. City. This is gonna be kind of a usual. Thing. They're gonna be destroying. They won four zero. Yeah, four four zero. Against uh, Haaland didn't right? score surprisingly. Can we call the league already? Can we call it? I think it. I think City will take it. Okay, I mean, can we call it, bro? Nah, Straight up. I don't know. I it's gonna be hard. There's to no beat way them, bro. we can call it two games in, bro. Come on. They beat Bournemouth, mate. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, true. they're a poor side. I think they're going. And down. they were at home too, so yeah, you expect Bournemouth. It. I think are going down, bro. So they're playing yeah. Barcelona friendly. All right. Yeah. All yeah. right. Let's see. Primo, anything else in the EPL? I think that might be it. Yeah, yeah that's that's pretty much it for EPL. Nice. All right. Yep. Now let's see what's what's next, Primo, on the top flight list. Uh, we got La Liga talk. Flying to Spain, taking the train. La Liga is back. It's back. Where's it at? La Liga. Culers. Mi Madrid, Vamos culers. Mi Madrid. Now, La Liga is back, but also real quick, before we get into La Liga, I want to I want to give some shouts to the UEFA Super Cup. The UEFA Super Cup, El Madrid, obviously, it happened earlier this week. We beat Frankfurt. I say we because I am part of Real Madrid. I'm a, I'm a socio. Socio, I'm part of the club. <laughs> I, I got the card in my wallet. I got the card in my wallet. Es un socio? I got the card in my wallet, G. Yeah. If you want any issues. No. If if I if if I ever get pulled over, hopefully I don't. He laminated it. Pull out my wallet. He laminated. The officer is gonna ask me license, uh, registration. I'm pull out my socios card. Yeah. There you go, sir. <laughs> I'll burn that card. You, man, chill out, dude. Yeah, bro, come on. Bro. But real quick, uh, some things I wanted to highlight on the Super Cup. Just some some real quick stats. You know that I had to do this. Go ahead, brother. Rudiger, won it with Chelsea. Won it with Real Madrid. Back to back Super okay, Cup. Okay. UEFA Super Cup. Didn't didn't think I was gonna do that, did you? Okay. Did, did not another, think that. Another no. thing. Hazard, the clause in his contract 
Because Real Madrid won the Super Cup, the UEFA Super Cup, I think it was, if I'm not mistaken, 20 million, 20 million. to Chelsea, bro. 20 million. 20 million? 20 million <laughs> Real Madrid has to play che- has Dang to pay man. Chelsea Football Club just because Hazard won the UEFA Super Cup. Check this out. I also want to throw in there, from winning La Liga, from winning the Champions League, from winning the Super Cup, Chelsea bought Cucurella. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> no, check this out. Wow. <laughs> these, these, are, these are Hazard's numbers, honors at... Uh, Real Madrid, two times La Liga champ, one time UEFA Champions League, two times Spanish Super Cup, and one time UEFA Super Jeez. Cup. And from all that, from all that, guess who was getting paid? It's my, these guys over here. Chelsea bro. Football Club, mate. And Absolutely I mean, I wonder disgusting. How many minutes he played in all those? Probably none. Probably none, bro. Probably none, bro. But he won them. He gets a medal. Chelsea get paid. At, at least like thirty. Chelsea get paid, dude. Hey, Cucurella, oh. free. Has a deal. Bro, that, <laughs> Todd Bowley. That is the biggest robbery in Todd Bowley, bro. Football. Todd Bowley is literally just getting free money off yeah. of that because yeah. literally Werner, he's gone, went he's to Germany, gone, scored Germany. a goal in his first 36 minutes there, yeah, right? Yeah. Shit keeping, by the way. Shit keeping. But yeah. some people were saying, why did Todd Bowley sell Werner? But, well, it's because it, was, it wasn't his deal. It wasn't he his deal. Sign him. And he had a fallout with Tuchel. Uh, he had a fallout yeah, with Tuchel. Timo. Yeah, Timo. Damn, that's, that's what happened. Remember when Tuchel said some of these players aren't playing good because they're thinking about where they're going? That, yes. was, Tuchel. that was Timo Werner, bro. Damn. Yeah. It's, it sucks. Th- that's his level. Now, back to yeah. back <laughs> he, to, he back to the Real Madrid. Back to Real Madrid. I want to give some shouts to Benzema. Benzema yeah, has Benzema. to get credit in the UEFA Super Cup. We're not at the Liga yet. After the Super Cup, Benzema turns into the second top scorer in Real Madrid history, overtaking legend Raul Gonzalez Blanco. Benzema with Real Madrid. Um, CR7 has 450 goals yeah. with Real Madrid. Benzema, 324. <laughs> Raul, 323. I, I don't see Benzema overtaking El Bicho, though. He needs, about, he, need, he needs about 130 more goals. <sighs> 100, 130. I don't see that happening, 130, brother. bro. Hey, he could go up. Hey, Benzema, Ballon d'Oro incoming. It's uh, not, it's not, it's yeah. not when. It's not when. I mean, it's not if. It's when. Yeah, I think that's secured, no? That's secured, bro. That that's secured, secure, bro. If it One doesn't happen. Stat. One more right, stat. One more stat. Real Madrid tied now for most Super Cups in history. Five what Barca. Who? Five Barca, five Milan, five Real Madrid. Ooh, I wouldn't okay. be not surprised, not surprised at I'd all. Say, yeah. yeah, but I mean, this Super Cup was—you knew what was going to happen. Yeah, because Frankfurt, bro, they it's got Frankfurt. absolutely destroyed by Bayern. Yeah, but yeah. Uh, the Super Cup initiates, I think, to me, the the start of the European leagues. Yeah. I mean, this is the first Super World up for grabs. So uh, they got Club World Cup next. Ancelotti also getting some shouts, but best manager ever. Yeah, and also didn't Ancelotti announce his retirement? retirement? He said, "After yeah. this, I'm done." After this, I'm yeah. done. After this, I'm respects. Like he, respect. Whenever, respect. whenever he won the 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 Liga or the Champions League last season with Real, he hugged uh, Florentino Perez and he told me, like, "Gracias, Presi, for bringing me back. You brought me back to life." That's oh, that's wow. yeah, that's. He told him that. Remember, kiss, remember that video. Gotta remember? kiss the ring, bro. Gotta kiss the ring, bro. Chill, Perez. That's bro. papi. That's papi. Anybody who comes in, coach Madrid, they gotta kiss that ring, brother. It that's not papi. How it that's not how. That's papi. Will his son take over? His son. David, an, David Ancelotti? Maybe. Maybe, maybe, maybe in the future? Where's he coaching at? I don't know if his son could Where's be he coaching anything at? he could be like. I'm not yeah, sure. I don't think so. I, I mean, there, so. Is, there is some shouts of, of his son being a proper coach. But so where's he know. coaching at now? He's, he's his assistant. He's in assistant. Real Madrid. Assistant. Oh, he's his assistant? He, yeah. Oh, okay, okay. He did the take over like one or two games last season. Yeah, assistant, yeah. Maybe, yeah. maybe the future's bright for him. Ancelotti got COVID, no? Yeah, and I showed the guy COVID, and that's when his son had to. Get, but I say, yeah. I say, send him to the championship, see what he does. Yeah, I think so Ooh, too. That's that's a good point. That's, that's a good a, point. That's good training. All right, let, real quick, let's get into La Liga. We gotta talk about the Real Madrid win, but before that, let's mention Barcelona, zero yeah. zero against Rayo Vallecano. Yeah, zero zero. They managed to register all their signings, yes. but if, it seems like After they sold another which chunk I told of their y'all, soul. They, which I told you that they were gonna do. Yeah, we they knew it was gonna happen. Yeah, they bro. sold oh, another yeah. chunk we of their soul. Twenty four percent. They're selling their soul. There's, there, le están rezando la, a, a la muerte. 24% for they're, they're, 100 million, bro. Yeah. They, million. they, honestly, they didn't want to do that. They w- didn't want to have to do that. The but they got caught lying. They got caught. They, they got, got caught, caught lying. So they had to pull, they, they call them levers. The levers, they, they say they got four levers. They pulled the first one to make the signings. They pulled the second one to register them. Two levers left, supposedly. They're, they're banking on their future. This, this, all the situation that's happened at Barca. They have to win a Liga now. They have to win the championship. They have a squad. They, they, have have, a they do have, they have a squad. A they, they have, have they, a squad. They have a good team. But knowing that is at, at, at cost, knowing that that is, is to play, literally the future of the club, I mean, a lot of eyes are going to be on Barca, bro. A lot of eyes. 100%. 
Now, you think they could win La Liga after this uh, 0 0? I mean, Lewak played. Uh, the only one that didn't play was the Kunde. Kunde, Kunde was the Kunde one did, that yeah, w- yeah. was the one that didn't play. Another small center back too. Kesi, Kesi yeah. came on. He, he thought he had the winner, but it was called offsides. Uh, Rayo Vallecano had multiple chances to win this game yeah, too, bro. Yeah. Barça had 21 shots though too. Um, Look at this good good breakaway chance by Rayo. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. Araujo sent him to another dimension, bro. Yeah. Sent him to another dimension. But Bali, you're paying attention more to Barça. Obama Young is there. Thoughts mm-hmm. on this 0-0 game to start I off La Liga? Are you concerned? Um, or? Yeah, I mean, I think they should have won. Even if Xavi came out and said that they need to play better. They, yeah, need, they need to play better. They need to execute better. I think that Barca this year, they will – I think they can compete for La Liga. Will they win it? I think I – I'm not, I'm not so sure about that. I think it's too early to tell. I think it's too early, but I definitely – I can definitely see them winning a Copa del Rey or something like that. I can see them winning that. Obama Young had a goal line save, bro. Uh, well, he had a – he had a goal cleared off the line, I should say. Look at that. Boom, bro. Obama Yang is happy right now there, but right now his future is is is, is uncertain right Chelsea, now. Chelsea. He should Chelsea. be concerned, bro. Yeah, Chelsea, Chelsea in the world. Chelsea in the yeah. world for Obama Yang. Would you like him there? Bar- well, Bar- down? You Barcelona, down? Barcelona only wants to let go of one. It's either a, it's either the um, pay or Obama Yang. The pay. The pay. Memphis the pay. Yeah. Memphis the pay. Yeah. He, I think he he has a deal. I think going for Juventus. And the whole the John situation too. Don't forget about yeah, that. The whole yeah. John. Bro, they owe him seventeen million. They said they said they said hey, the people that gave you that contract, yeah, they should be in jail. Yeah. And you should not. You should you shouldn't get that money. Yeah. Dude, that's. You know so what they did? They up. explained yeah. it on uh, ESPN FC. They they came to him and said, "Hey, bro, take a pay cut now, but we're gonna pay you later." Later came. Where's my money? Mm, yeah, I don't, I don't got no money. I don't, I don't got, got no, no money, money, brother. Bro, bro, I don't got Pique, no money. Pika took a pay cut, right? Yes. They're asking him for another pay cut, yeah, no, bro. Come that man's on, basically bro. playing for free, bro. Yeah, yeah, that's basically free. paying for free. I mean, god damn. Bro. I mean, and he, he he also dodged a bullet with, with with his girl because she got caught tax fraud. She owes she owes Spain like what's with people in 20 Spain? Million. What's 20 with people million? in Spain getting I don't caught know, up I, with I taxes? Think they, I think they have some like really tough tax weird, laws out weird there. Tax I, don't yeah, know. Probably. I don't know what it is, bro. If I was I a junk, I would dig my feet in the ground and be like, nah. Pay me. Looks like that's what's gonna happen, yeah, and I like, hope that's what happens. I hope so too. Yeah. I hope so too because honestly, world, world football pundits, everybody, stuff like that, we should stand for Frankie, bro. bro. Yeah. Stand, stand with yes, Frankie, exactly. bro. Stand, stand, with, stand with, Frankie, with Frankie, bro. Hashtag stand with Frankie. This bro. is one of the first times that something like this is so public, bro. Yeah. Because of the way that they're, they're, Barcelona is selling their soul. Yeah. They're piece selling their piece soul. Of shit club. I've been trying to tell y'all since since the get go. Barcelona's a shit piece of shit club. Got a squad, Sorry. though. They got a squad. They got a squad. They got a squad. All right. But Real Madrid winning today, 2-1 to one against a newly promoted Almeria. Coming yeah. back. Who went yeah, up 1-0. They destroyed them. They went up 1-0, yeah. but there was never any concern in the Real Madrid camp. They knew what they had to do. They had a plan. You sure? Lucas Vasquez getting that equalizer. A choppy goal, but it was created by a play. Uh, by that time, Hazard was on. He was actually brought on in this game. And in the second goal came from a beautiful free kick. Yeah, that was, that that was, that was a good goal. In el angulo, bro. Like, literally yeah. post and in. You cannot save that. The goalkeeper was just left looking at it. Um, but shout out to this uh, uh, Real Madrid team. You know, it's first game of the season. You know, we haven't won anything yet. More of this. We're here to defend our, our crown. We're the biggest team yeah. in Europe. We're the biggest team in Spain. And uh, it's, time to, it's time that we start uh, putting our dominance in Spain, bro. Yeah, and with a club with Almeria coming through, I mean, any club that plays against Real Madrid, you get an extra boost, bro. Yeah. These yeah. clubs that play Real Madrid, it's Real Madrid. Everybody wants to beat them. They're bro, the that, champions of Europe. That's Europe's poor so. from Rudiger. That's poor. Yeah, I mean, it's actually not on Rudiger. It's that's not on Rudiger. It's, Rudiger. it's not on Rudiger, mate. It's more on Nacho. It's more on Nacho. He kind of just gives up on the run. I mean, Rudiger was, Rudiger was kind of like not in that zone, I guess you could say. But Rudiger is somebody that started this game. Didn't think he was going to start. I love this guy. I'm happy with the signing. God, it's weird seeing him in that kit, bro. He's going to yeah. be great for us. Yeah, it's weird He's going to be great for us. Kit, he bro. sold the soul. Um, <laughs> but, you know, this is pretty much another day in the office for yeah. uh, Real Madrid. It's not a, a win that... It's a win know, y'all should be winning. Win, a game you, you should game, be winning. A game you should be winning. It really should have be been 4-1, 5-1. I, I miss... Primo can definitely give you his, his take on this. I miss those days where we had Chris... Young Bale, La Liga kicks off. We play teams like Rayo. Like Almeria. Like Almeria, 6-0, yeah. 7-0. Yeah. 
You remember when it was like ten nine, nils, ten bro. nil, bro? You yeah. remember that game? That was like 2015, 2016. Wow. That was when Chicharito scored two goals. Yeah. On that yeah. Game. But pretty like nine. Give us your take on this game real quick. We need to hear from you. Uh, I mean, it's it's a little bit of a rough start, but like you said, we weren't really worried. The goal comes early from the the other team, and Real Madrid just closes it up. Um, I kind of expect this throughout the whole season. You know, these teams are going to catch us. These lower teams, like uh, who said it be? These these teams get a little bit of a confidence boost when they go against Real Madrid. And yep. Any yeah, little slip lead. up, any little mistake, they're going to get caught and they're going to get scored on. There's a free kick right here. If though. I was yeah. playing, if, if I was playing for Almeria, I would be like, this is a cup final. Yeah, uh-huh. yeah, yeah. You know what yeah I mean? true. You know what's yeah. actually crazy too? David Alaba, 26 seconds on the pitch, and then he yeah. does that. Yeah. <laughs> Insane, Badass bro. signing, bro. Great yeah. signing. Great signing. Great signing, David yeah. Alaba. Uh, Real Madrid is definitely the pinnacle for a lot of players in world football. Obviously, maybe not the Barca players, but a lot of players want to go to Real Madrid. It's one of the biggest clubs in the so, world. It's a lot of history, bro. Yeah. Rudiger, history. Rudiger, I think, is going to have a great time there, bro. I, I, ho- I wish him well. I wish him well. You, is there anything with his contract also? No. No, no, there, no, 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 money no, 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 Ramadi Thank learned God. a lesson, bro. Ramadi Thank learned God. a lesson. No, 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 not nothing with Rudiger. We need to make the, we need to get the math, get the numbers. Rudiger went on a free. So it yeah. was, right. Chelsea, Chelsea, right. was, not Chelsea was not involved at all. Chelsea was not involved at all. You're right. Yeah. Um, let's see, anything else we can add on this Real Madrid? Get, damn, look at that passion. Yeah. Uh, I just want to say a quick word on La Liga. I mean, uh, I'm glad La Liga's back. I can't wait uh, for La Liga to pick up and cover more games from them. Uh, I mean, El Clásico compared to last season, I think this season the Clásico is something that I'm I'm gonna look forward to now, bro. Yeah, Primo, can yeah, you pull yeah. up Real Madrid's first big get, like big match and the standings after that, and then we can uh, end the La Liga segment. Sevilla lost two Sevilla to one. Sevilla lost, which is disappointing. Oof. You Indeed. said uh, Valencia won. Valencia Bobby. be get on. Get on. Oh, or I was watching that game too. I was watching, too. Tati. I was watching it because of Tati Castellanos, Tati Castellanos yeah. is there playing now. Did, Did he start? Did he start? Yeah, he started. He started. He started. Uh, Sevilla. Recently, who do they pick up? They have Tecatito. Who do they sign? I think they signed somebody recently. They have bro. Tecatito. They, they got have rid of the, Kunde. They got uh, they the man you guy loaned out to them, Tejas. Yeah. Oh, Tejas. Yeah, they got Tejas, yeah, the they they defender Tejas. So, mira, wait. Then it's... And Isco. They got Isco. That's it. That's who. Oh, yeah, that's who. Yeah, that's who. Yeah, they got Isco. They got Isco. 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 Come they on, Isco. bro. They got Isco. My fault, You're a legend. He's a legend. He's a legend, no? He's a legend. He got five Champions Leagues, I guess. you want to run down the games real quick? All right, uh, let's see. I'm going to tell you which ones are, are big. We got Celta de Vigo next. That's an okay game. That's, yeah, that's, that's an okay no, game. That, that's, no, that's a good game. That's an okay they're, they're game. Good, they're a good They team. have a good forward, uh, they uh, Iago Aspas. Yeah. They have a good team. Este Espanol should be a dub. Yeah, yeah, should beat them. Betis should Spank be a dub. Em. Should be a dub. They have a Pellegrini as coach. They have an okay team. Yeah, okay. Is Guardado uh, still playing? They're thinking Guardado's about, they're, they're thinking about signing Hector Bellerin. Bellerin is going over oh. there. Fakir plays there. Fakir's yeah. pretty good. Yeah, man. yeah, he is. He is. Diego Linus still playing for Linus them? Linus is nah, not nah, there anymore. Not there? I think yeah. he's in Portugal now. Yeah, he's okay. in Portugal. He's in Portugal. Okay. Braga, I think. So, Celta de Vigo, mid game. Espanol should be a dub. Betis should be a dub. Mallorca, dub. dub. Athletic. Athletic. That's going to be obviously, a good game. Obviously, the first tough I can't, match. I can't wait for that one. That's going to be a good game. Osasuna, those games can be tricky. Getafe, that's a pretty tough hey, nah, game, you'll beat them. depending you'll beat them. on what mood they are in. And depending then? on who, nah, what mood they are in. You'll beat them. You'll beat and them, then? bro. Geta- then we got El Clásico. El Clásico. But you got it at the Bernabeu, though? October at the Bernabeu. 16th. Oof. At the Bernabeu, yeah. yeah. That's October 16th. And game, then we bro. got the powerful H. Yeah. Oof, Lewa at the Bernabeu. <laughs> Go to the uh, standings. Please, Lewa please. at the Bernabeu. Villarreal in first place. I mean, it's Villarreal. one game, brother. It's Emery. Game. Unai Emery. Unai. Good Unai. evening. Hey. Good evening. Unai. Oh, yeah, the video. The video. The video. Unai. Unai Emery. I, th- I think he did an excellent job at Arsenal. Is that, oh, yeah? <laughs> I don't even <laughs> think he understood him, bro. Yeah. <laughs> but, yeah, you Some know. Some guy was like, say good evening. Say good evening. That, I think he understood I, that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> La Liga match, match day one, though. Real yeah. Madrid, second place. Villarreal first. Osasuna, Sociedad, yeah. Valencia. And just a quick word, uh, I mean, La Liga's back, Serie A's back, uh, you know, all the leagues are kicking off now, and uh, we're keeping an eye on air- on all the leagues. PSG yep. first place in league. Uh, lean. Mean, surprise. Uh, it's league. Uh. What about Serie A? Serie A kicked off this week? Serie A kicked yeah, off Serie this week. Uh, you Dumb. know, uh, Milan, all the Milan teams with the dubs. Uh, we had uh, uh, Atlant- uh, Atalanta with the dub as well. AC for Milan, my team in Italy. That's oh. my team in Italy, AC Milan. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm following Roma. I want to see Mourinho, see, you know, Dybala. Oh, yeah. Tammy, Tammy is there. Tammy's, Tammy's there. still there. So, Tammy. you know, Serie A is kicking off, you know. This uh, this league, remember, remember last season? This great. league went it all was, the way to was, the it end. Was, it was probably the most entertaining league. Yeah. We have to keep a 
closer eye on them. We will, and we will, and we 100%. will. Hundred percent. I'm, I'm looking at, I'm looking at uh, Juventus. Really, I, I really, they made yeah. a signing. Yeah, Di Maria, yeah, yeah, yeah. Pogba. You know, I'm maybe, with you I'm maybe with you the, uh, Memphis might be on his way over there. So yeah. Juventus yet to play. They will play though. I want Juventus. I want to see what Juventus got. Let's pick who, who's who's gonna win the league. Said yeah, I'm gonna I'm ride with. Uh, I'm gonna ride with Roma. I'm gonna go with Milan. Again. What? I'm ride you with think Roma. Mourinho does nah, it? He won't they do got it. Dybala, wey. Dybala I don't know. I don't think, uh, Dybala didn't do good in the first yeah, game. Yeah, Dybala is. Nah. Nah. I did just say AC Milan is my team in Serie A. I go, <laughs> we, <laughs> I we, go, we go way yeah. back yeah, since middle school. The Kaká days. Way I remember. Back, I remember. Way I remember, brother. Back. The Kaká days. I yeah. remember uh, my parents used to get like a little booklet in the mail and it was like stuff to order, like Mexican products. And there was two pages. Where it had jerseys like a soccer store, you you call this this number and you order a jersey, whatever, yeah. right? And they had the AC Milan and the Inter Milan jerseys and some other clubs, right? And I always looked at the AC Milan jersey as a kid, and I was like, yo, that's such a sweet jersey. I fell in love with the jersey as as as, as a kid. Kaká was there, like you yeah, said, bro. Kaká, I remember, bro. And then he went to Real, and that really pushed my Real yeah. Madrid fandom. Yeah, yeah. Really nice. did, bro. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I remember when Kaká made Manchester look like schoolboys, bro. School was and they had a powerful team. They had a powerful yeah. team. Bro. I think I got the Milan there. I don't know if it's Inter or AC, I but I think at the Milan clubs maybe favorites to win it. I think yeah. Milan got it. Yeah, I think they're running AC or Inter. Roma oh, finishes top four or Juve. I wish Roma well because uh, Mourinho and Tammy there. I wish them well. Mm -hmm. Uh, we'll see. Mourinho looking great too. Mourinho, bro. Bro, Mourinho, you seen that tattoo Mourinho got, bro? You seen his tan? <laughs> <laughs> you seen his tan? Bro, bro, he got a tattoo of the. UEFA Champions League, oh, I saw Europa that. League, and the Count. Rightfully Conference so, League. rightfully so. All three European. First, first manager. Yeah. First manager. Three. Remember? Three. Three. Respect. 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 Yeah. Uh, anything else can we add? What else do we need to cover? Uh, I think that's it, man. Uh, Is that it, Primo? Yeah, Double check the notes, bro. Yeah. yeah. Oh, one, one question. In the EPL, what manager will be sacked first? Oh. Ooh, Frank Lampard. Frankie. Eric Ten Hag. Frankie. Maybe the Fulham for, uh, coach. Nah. Who do you think? It's, you know it's going to be Frank Lampard. I think Frank Lampard. <laughs> it's going to be Frankie. Frank Lampard? B? Uh, I don't know who's coaching Bournemouth, bro, but I think Bournemouth's coach. The I don't Bournemouth know. coach. Yeah, I who's forgot, coaching Bournemouth? Can we look that up real quick? Uh, he, he's known. He, he used to coach... Um, he coached Watford. Maybe I actually made Watford it too easy. Too. Maybe I actually made it too easy. He's let's, cool. Let's, let's narrow it down. Between Eric Ten... Scott Parker... Eric Scott Ten Parker. Months. I think he goes first, bro. Okay, between <laughs> <laughs> poor Scott, between Eric Eric he, Ten Hag, train Fulham too, and Super Frank, who gets sacked first? Super Frank's gonna get sacked first. You know, er, er, that's a process with Man United. They need to stick with him. I, if he gets sacked, it's gonna be in Christmas. Yeah, I agree with. I agree they have with to Bali. be in the bottom. Merry Christmas. Yeah, I agree Damn. with Bali. I think Ten Hag. They need to back him, bro. They need to back him, bro. Like I think him, the only way they they sack him if if they start off like if they're still in like the relegation, like, bro. Yeah, like yeah. I mean relegation, and they've won, and it's December. They've won like two games. Nah, that yeah. Then that would be sacking, yeah, bro. Yeah, that would right. be sacking. They would have yeah. to. There would be no no backing. Mm -hmm. I think if it gets if it gets to that point, bro. Like to the point where. They've only won like two or three games until Christmas. If it's oh, that that's bad, no way, bro. If that's, that's no that bad, way, I think that they will sack him and that they bring in Poch, because I heard that they've been wanting Poch yeah, yeah, for a while. Yeah. I and think, he's free. I think I think they want Poch. I, th he's, I agree. He's I think not we'll that see, good. We'll he's see. not I th that good. If I had to bet between Ten Hag and Frank, I would have to put it on Frank, bro. Yeah, Frank yeah. is done. Yeah, I don't know if he's Everything's done. Everything's done. If I had to pick, they are poor. And then oh, you're, you're taking their best player. You you bought you put in a bin for Gordon. The number mm. 10. He's they got a, rejected. He's a, they he's got rejected. Number, he's a talented kid, yeah. bro. He got rejected and Chelsea were praying a bigger offer. He's a good player, bro. He's a good, he's a good yeah. player. Bro. He's the a best good young player. player. He's, he's a good their player, best man. young player. So we'll see. Hey, yo, real quick, guys. A verified account just tweeted this. Uh, his name is uh, Manuel Veth. Yeah, he's, he's, he's verified. Uh, he's the area manager in North America, transfer market. So he's involved with transfer market. Okay. For yeah. the North America, yeah, okay, transfer okay. market, yeah, hundred percent. Okay, okay. He's the host of a of a podcast, and he's involved with Bundesliga and other shit, right? Source: S St. Louis City SC. So I guess the news expansion team from next season, yeah, are in advanced talks with Austin FC for midfielder Jared Stroud. All parties are optimistic that a winter transfer can be done, but it isn't completed. Would be another important player with MLS experience for the squad. Yeah. Stroud I mean, going to he'll, another he'll expansion get his, team. He'll get his PT. 
We haven't seen any any minutes from him. Another season. expansion team. You yeah. Know, for I him. think maybe Austin FC is holding him because they know he's valuable. Maybe they want to get some cha-ching off. Look, him. if he does leave, they're they're getting a good a good player. Yeah, uh, definitely. Yeah. You know, definitely. and uh, um, a a good a good player and a hard worker. So yeah. good team player also. Maybe even a little profit for Austin. I doubt it. Yeah. <laughs> no, we for anything, sure, hundred percent. If anything, a little bit, a little. Nah, bit. I doubt it. I mean, he also hasn't played. Yeah, true. But so um, we'll see. yeah, he hasn't played at all. No minutes. You know, he deserves some 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 minutes for sure. Hell yeah. All right, y'all. That's, that's it. it, brother. That's Primo? it, man. We're good, brother. Yeah. Anything yes, else you want to add, wait Primo? For next week. Any any last words, Primo? Uh, no, man. I mean, I'm just glad to be here with y'all. It was yeah. a good episode. I had a lot of fun with y'all. Yeah, man. Yeah. I, I missed you, bro. That Liverpool United game. <sighs> Can't wait. I can't <laughs> wait for that one. I can't wait for next week. Yeah, it's going to be good. It's going to be, be good. good. Yeah. All right, y'all. Yeah, this has been the Top Flight Podcast. Another episode, episode 59. Thank you for joining us. Make sure to like and subscribe on YouTube. Tell a friend, please. Tell a friend. Tell a friend. Road to 1,000 subscribers friend. on YouTube. Road to 1,000 subs. Help us get there. We appreciate it so tell much. Tell a friend. Tell a, tell a homegirl. Tell, tell her body single. All that. You know what I'm <laughs> yeah. Put me in. Slide, slide, slide in my yeah, DM. Bro. All of that. You know, I'm ready. Calm down, brother. <laughs> Tell a friend, subscribe to the pod, yeah. share it, por favor. We need to get to a thousand subs on YouTube. That'd be fantastic. Yes. Yeah. It's been the Top Flight Podcast. Thank you for joining us. Shout out to the fans. You already know this. Game.